for everything you've done to me. Sao. For everything you've done to me. Sao. Fuck you. Sao. <laughs> Fuck you. Sao. <laughs> Stupid. Sao. That's my name. Don't wear it up. I can't fucking breathe, babe. Seriously. Yeah, that's when you do when you choke me. Sarah. Sarah. Sarah, I can't breathe, babe. That's on you. Sarah, I can't breathe. It's on you. Sarah. Real around him. Might want to get a video for it extra. Because <laughs> I got this. Sarah. Real around him. Sarah. Sarah. I can't breathe, babe. Oh. That's what Sarah. I feel like when you jingle me. Sarah. I Fuck you. Yeah. You should probably shut the fuck up. Nine one one. What is the location of your emergency? Four seven four eight France Court, apartment three. Is this a police or medical? My boyfriend is dead. Okay, send the line for the fire department. Do not hang up. Fire risk. What's the location, Mercy? Desk thirty two. No, please don't leave. Four seven. Four eight France Lane, apartment three. France Court. All right, great. Now tell me exactly what happened there. Uh, my boyfriend and I were playing last night, and mm -hmm. I put him in his case when we were playing, and okay. like kind of hide and seek kind of thing. So I fell asleep, and I woke up, and he was dead in the suitcase. So I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Yes, yeah, like he has like. Blood coming out of his mouth, and I don't know if like he had like an aneurysm or what happened. Right. Okay. All right. Okay. Listen, we're getting help out there too. All right. Okay. Okay. I, I, now? Okay. Four. Yeah, man. Listen, we're on our way out there. You had four zero seven seven one six eight six eight six eight four. Okay. Is he hanging from somewhere or what, ma'am? No. I pulled him out of the suitcase. I tried the, giving him CPR. Out of the, okay. So he's, uh, he was in a suitcase. Yes, and I fell asleep. Okay, how old is the how old is the boyfriend, ma'am? Forty two year old man. All right. Okay, we're we're sending we're sending help out there. Share us the way out there? Yes, sir. I'm sorry? Yeah, okay. All right, listen to me. Okay, that um, that you see that you need to confirm this one. All right, I know, I understand. I just need to confirm this. Is he is he awake at all? Is he conscious at all? No. He's purple. Is he right, is he breathing? No. All right. I need you to get I need you to get him on the floor, flatten his back for I me, did. okay? I did. I did. I tried giving him CPR. All right. I tried giving him CPR. Yeah, okay. Well, 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 nothing happened. He's purple. Right. Okay, listen to me. There's a defibrillator available. I need you to get it for me, okay? What is it? You have an AED, you have an AED available? No. All right. Do you write by him now? I'm sorry? You, are you right by him now? Yes. Okay, okay. Lay him flat on his... Okay, ma'am, 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 listen. Uh, so, listen, is he cold and stiff? Yes. Okay. Well, he's okay. not necessarily cold, but he's stiff. And he's right, purple. okay. All right, listen to me. I, listen, listen to me. I want you to lay him flat on his back for me on I the did. floor. I did. Removing the pillows, okay. Yes, I did. All right, okay. When, he's stiff and purple. Right, okay, listen. Okay, man, that's fine. We're, we're still going to do compressions on him, okay? All right? Place the heel of your hand on his breastbone, right in the center of the chest, right between the nipples. Yes. Put your other hand on top of that hand. Baby, I'm telling you. Just by okay. looking at him, you can tell. Okay. And Please. Okay, he just gurgled. Okay. Okay. L listen to me. All right. I want to play. I want you to place the heel of your hand. Uh -huh. Okay. Right between the right between his chest. Right between his breast bones. Yes. Put your other hand, put your other hand on top of that hand. Yeah. Well, we okay. want we want to pump his chest to me hard and fast. Go into this twice per second. I'm doing it again. Okay. No. No. Just keep on pumping. That's all you need to do for me. Keep on pumping his chest for me. That's, I don't need you to stop and talk okay. or anything. I just want okay. you to count out loud for me, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This is, this is nice. Okay, ma'am, just keep on pumping his chest. That's all you need to do for me, okay? Yes. Come on, please. Hurry up. Okay, ma'am, ma'am, they're driving here as fast as they can. Okay, don't stop to say hurry up. Just keep on pumping and counting. I'm, I'm still doing it while I'm pumping you, okay? Okay. Still doing it. All right, just keep, just continue pumping this. Count on a second count with you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. 30, 31, 32. Please hurry. Okay, ma'am, they're getting there as fast as they can, okay? He's stiff and he's purple. Okay, keep I'm pumping his chest for me, ma'am. I'm still doing it, okay? Still doing it. Just don't make right. me count. Right, okay, that's fine. Just, you do a good job. Just keep on doing it for me. That's All right, they're getting there as fast as they can, along with the sheriff's office also, okay? Please. Okay, keep on pumping, ma'am. One, we were playing two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Keep on pumping for me, ma'am. I'm not doing it. I'm doing it. Believe me, I'm doing it, okay? We are playing okay. hide and seek. Okay. All right, I understand. All right, just keep on pumping for me, okay? Okay. Please hurry. This right, okay. Horrible. This is horrific. What happened? Like, what happened? Okay, ma'am, just keep on pumping his chest for me, okay? They're, they're, in, they're, they're in the parking lot. They should be up there shortly, okay? I'm still doing it, okay? All right, okay, good. And you found him in a suitcase, you said? Yes. We were playing hide and seek last night. I fell asleep. I think they're here. All right, just keep on pumping his chest until they take over, okay? I am, I am. Okay. Let them take over for you, okay? When was the last time anybody saw him? The last night. We were playing hide and seek. He hit a nerve. It's okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, he's been down too long. There's nothing we can do for him. Hello, ma'am. So, okay. so we're there, obviously. Uh, all right. Yeah, no, my boyfriend. Is your boyfriend? Okay. Does he have any kind of metaphors? No. No, not that I know of. Did you call it? What time did you call it? Hello there. Hi. You live here? Yes. Okay, I'll talk to you. We gotta get some information from the fire department. That's my um, the property, property manager. I don't know if I should go tell him really quick or just we'll so he knows what's that. going on. Where is he at? And he walked that way. Oh, don't worry about that. We'll take care of that for you, okay? Can I go? I had a cigarette. Oh. We'll get it for you, okay? Wait one second, okay? I really need something to drink. Okay, well, we'll I got my Dr. Pepper on the counter. Okay, we'll take care of you. Give me one second. Don't bring up by the phone there. It's Armand, too. I got a black and yellow. I'm going to have to get the lady while you're ready. Put the time. Oh, that you called it? Yeah, that's the time you called it? Okay, perfect. We can't go back inside. What's going on? What? Who is he to you? Boyfriend? Yes, for like three and a half years. What happened? He and I, we drank last night. We had a Can you pass this to the uh, around to the FD guys? Stop. They need to sign that for sure. They're with me. So they're not oh, they're not leaving? Around. Okay. I think I will go around. No, no, no. Each exactly of them has to. So this might be a real thing. Yeah. So each of them has to put oh, their name in the Normally we all just, I just put everybody. Yeah, you call it's working. Um, what's going on? Headquarters. So I just got here, so fill me in. No problem. Like, yeah, he and I were putting a puzzle right. together. We've been doing some artwork right together. There. You were putting a puzzle together? Yes, we have a puzzle that we started in there. Okay. We've been doing art, trying to take the stuff off the wall to, to make new art put up there. Like, having a good time with one another. But we're drinking. We had a bottle of wine last night. Okay. Fine. So then it's like, we decided to play hide and seek, right? Okay. So, he gets in the suitcase, okay? Who is this guy? That's my ex-husband. My former husband. How did he, he live here with you guys? No. I called him over here. Okay, okay. I didn't know what to do. Okay. I didn't know what to do. Okay. So then he came over here. Here, let's talk in private, okay? I called 
you guys. Mm -hmm. It's like giving us a I, I, The problem is, is I fell asleep. I fell asleep. When did you do CPR? This morning. When I found it. Before you called? Yes! It's one o'clock right now. I tried. I was awake, but I actually got out of the bed at like 1230-ish, whatever. So I came downstairs. Brothers, and I was like, oh, support? he's in the suitcase still. And that's when I found him and I took him out and I tried doing CPR and then I called him and then I called you guys. Did he get here before the fire department got here? Who? Your, your husband? Or yes. your ex-husband? Yes. Okay. Where did he live at? Uh, right down the street. Okay. So you were playing and who did come up in? I did! Okay. But then I fell asleep! Okay, okay. So you're okay. I don't, I wasn't here. I'm just trying to figure out what happened. But I fell asleep so I don't know if he suffocated or if I had an aneurysm or a heart attack or what. What kind of medical conditions does he have? None that I know of. Nothing that you know of. None that I take know any of. No. Medicine? No. No. No medicine. All we had was a bottle of wine. Literally, okay. just a bottle of wine. Okay. Doing puzzle artwork. Then we decided to play hide and seek. Mm -hmm. That's all that happened. Okay, okay. So I don't know if he had a heart attack or what in there. Like, I don't know what happened. So how long were you doing CPR on him prior to you calling 911? You tried that all morning? Yes. Okay. And then I called him while I was what doing CPR. What time did you start? Probably giving me a rough ballpark. Here, let me fill this deputy in, okay? Please, may I have my Dr. Pepper? I am on, so cut now right second. now. Ma'am, and you can't talk to him until we get done with this, okay? Just don't leave, okay, Brian? Thank you, ma'am. Well, Appreciate I'm it. Thank you. I know. Do me a favor. Stand over there by that car. Give me one second. Just give us a second, okay? Somebody else on that call of operations. It's on the counter. I can't move anything from out of the house. Nick, here. I want you to sit down because I don't want you passing out. This is probably a lot for you to deal with, right? Sit, sit. I don't want water. Just water. I can get you some water, okay? Just I want you not on your feet because I don't want you passing out on me. I need, please, I need water. Okay, I'll get some for you. You're trying to, Charlie, but you're on it. Okay, so you don't live here in this house. No, 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 no. I live down in uh, Lake Winata Cove. Down Lake Winata Cove. Okay. Yeah. So kind of tell me how you came here today or... Well, I had been um, calling... Come down here because we got to talk. I know. Um, I've been calling since... You've been calling uh, this, your ex-wife or current yes, wife? Yes, yes. Okay. No, 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 no. Ex-wife. We've okay. been divorced about a year and a half. Um, yeah, thank you for your problem. About 11... 30 is when I started calling Go to ahead. find out because this is supposed to be her day. Can you give me 1764, please? Um, okay. She's generally not very good about always doing it. She tends to drink. They called back and said she was still there, there or she came back. Um, so I was calling to find out if she was going to be getting him or not today. From school. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So um, I started calling like 1130, called every half hour, hour or so, and then finally got a hold of her at 1249. Which is when she told me what was going on and if I'd come over here, so I came over. She called it 1245. Yeah, okay. or 1249. 1249. Um, got over here, told her she needed to call 911, get somebody over here, and then uh, basically she said she needed to go outside, have a drink and a cigarette. I walked back out the house because I didn't really want to Who called? Did you call or did she call? Well, I called. She called me back when I was on my way to make sure I was coming over. But, um... I called her initially. Give me one second, okay? But I called her initially. Do you yeah. have water in your car by any chance? I don't think so. Um. Nothing? No. Okay, okay. No, okay. I don't. Okay, so she called. You get over here. Well, I, called, I called her first. Okay. Um, trying to find out if she's going to be up. That's what she told me everything was going on. Um, I got my stuff together, put the puppy up in his crate. Um, when I was starting to drive over here is when she called me to make sure I was coming. And then I got over here right after Did that. you go inside and see and then? I, I, I walked inside the front. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't see the little front tile area. Come I, on, step this way. Mm -hmm. I saw legs. Um, I, I just didn't really want to be in there around it. So mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I told her well, I Well, just for the sake outside. of the crime scene, I want to know if I were to find your foot it would be because you went this far into the house. So did you actually make entry thr I don't think the I, threshold? I don't think I ever made it to the carpet. I think okay. it was just in that, um, I've been over here before. Right, so right, I mean, right, yeah. <laughs> but um, no, I don't think I stepped past you that did, okay. um, tile area. Okay, so um, 
Did I touch doorknob? I don't think I touched anything in the kitchen. I don't know if that really matters. Yeah. But. Okay, so that's pretty much the gist of what you have. Well, sit tight for us. Um, okay. We're going to make a few phone calls, and then we'll go from there. Do you okay, know if he fine. has um, any med uh, medical issues? or? I, I don't. Okay, but you've met him before. Because... I've met him before, yes. Okay. yes. They've got a full fun history. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah, you guys have been called over here twice. For the two of them? Yeah, he's been arrested like I think, five times. Really? Okay, I'm not familiar with. So, I haven't been here personally. It's so they have. He, a, he's currently on parole because of it. So um, because of domestic violence with her. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. From last time he got um. Whatever it's called, three trials, something or other. He had to go to a um, domestic violence class. Okay. I know he was doing it at a parole officer. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. But I mean, like every time she'd have him arrested, the next day she was trying to get him bailed out of jail. So. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Oh, she's getting water from the tap. She's probably going to pass out on us. Okay, well, listen, please do me a f tight. Oh, no, no, no. I'll make a few not, phone not a calls. I mean... When does your kid need to be picked up? Uh, Lakemont Elementary. How soon, though? Uh, 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock, okay. I don't really leave the house. Let me try and get this so. going for you, because I know you need that. I'll go, go ahead and start making the calls. Sam, could you go ahead and give me his last name, Torres? Spell it for me. T-O-R-R-E-S. And his first name? George, J-O-R-G-E. J-O-R-G-E. J. O-R-G-E. -E. His birth date? 2 78 And this is the boyfriend? Yes. How long? Uh, three and a half years. Living together that whole time? Yes. Okay. And your last name? Boone. Spell it. B-O-O-N-E. First name? Sarah. S A R A H. Birth date? 10 10 7 7. So, you've had a second to kind of collect yourself. Tell it to me again. You guys were playing last night, drinking a bottle of wine, putting puzzles together, doing artwork. Doing puzzles, artwork. Okay. Had a bottle of wine and then decided to play hide and seek. Mm -hmm. So, he gets, What time was that? Do you remember? I mean, I know that I was in bed probably by like what? 12:30. Okay. Well, so I went upstairs at least and I fell asleep. Okay. Forgetting that he was so in the suitcase. you guys were playing the hide and go seek. Yes. And at some point you put him in the suitcase? No, he got in the suitcase. So okay. he thought it would be funny to be put in the suitcase. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to joke with you and I'll zip you up and make him, you know, squirm a little bit, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. But then I fell asleep. Mm -hmm. I fell asleep. Where was the suitcase? Right he where got it is. In it. Right down there? Yes. You zipped him in there. Yes. Thought he would be funny, a little joke. It was. We both were laughing about it. Okay. And then I fell asleep. Where did you fall asleep at? Upstairs. In your bedroom? Yes. Okay. Totally forgetting that he was in the suitcase still. Okay. And then you came back downstairs. This morning? Or this afternoon, yes, when I got up. Park, what time? 12, 30-ish. I was awake, but I totally forgot that he was in the suitcase. He can tell you there's a lot of things that I slash we have been going through. Jobs. Yeah, he did tell me. Life, all stuff. that good stuff. So... I just totally forgot. So you forgot. began to do CPR on him? Yes. Yes. From about what gurgle. time this morning like did you gurgled. start doing that CPR? No, it was the afternoon. It was afternoon it was because the afternoon. I was awake, but then I finally decided to come downstairs at like 1230-ish, whatever it is. And I was like, oh, I forgot he was in the suitcase and he wasn't moving. Nothing was happening. So I unzipped him, unzipped him, unzipped him, took him out and started doing CPR on him. Mm -hmm. He was on his way over here. I called you when he got here. Once he got here, you called him? Yes. Okay. And it, like air was coming out and he was gurgling, but mm -hmm. I could just tell by looking at him. But you knew how to do CPR. Are you doing that on your own? Yes. Okay. And then right. the person that was on the phone with me also, I counted with him doing. And he's got no medical. He doesn't take any medication. I don't know. Like, I don't know medical wise. Like what I know he doesn't take any medications whatsoever. Okay. Um, the only thing, like I said, I don't know if alcohol had to do with it, but we had a bottle of wine. Okay, all right. Here, I want you to sit back down because I don't want Can you. I have one more sip of water, please? Yeah, go, go. Denver, 29, residential, audible, 1303 Island Bay Drive. I'll do what I can to get you a cup because I don't want you to have to keep doing that. The maintenance should have the proper cancel, medication for the front door. Turn to that first time. Okay, thank you. Motor unit on the channel. Like the cups are like right there. Okay. Sit right here. Don't talk to the ex husband right oh, now. Oh, I won't. Okay? I won't. Can I have a cigarette, please? Ma'am, I can't take anything out of the house. It's on the back porch. Nope. All of it. It's secure, okay? 
I'll try my best to get you what you need, okay? Maybe one of these deputies a has a, a pack from someone, some, you know, sit down and I'll try and get you what you need, okay? Just cut, please. Okay. I don't want you on your feet. We got them more, it's so. Bill Boone, okay. Yeah. And then yeah. your first name? Brian, B-R-I-A-N. B-R-I-A-N. And your date of birth? Uh, 527-75. And your child is in school right now. He's not here with you. No, 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 no. no. He's okay. in school. He's in school. What, how old is he? This will be a fun one to explain. He is nine. <laughs> He's third grade. I can't even start with how you would explain <laughs> something like this. Okay. Uh, Sixth grade, you said? Third grade. Third oh, grade. third He's grade. Nine. Third grade. Okay. Yes. All right. So sit tight for us. I'm sorry it's so hot. Um, okay. Maybe the middle of that would be a good spot to stay in. <laughs> uh, so we'll take it from there. I'll keep you updated. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Did we get that dog by any chance? He's sleeping under the... Oh, poor thing. So your backyard's not fenced. Okay. Because we put him in the backyard and I guess he knew to... I'm sorry? Your dog. We thought the backyard was fenced. The dogs are outside? No, no, no. We, we have them contained. One's deaf and one's blind. Okay. Okay. That's why I was making sure they were under the table. Nope. nope that's, that's yours. <laughs> so we just... Been Wait for get the instructions on what to do next. Yeah. You got some water, good, okay. Can I please just have a cigarette? They're on the back porch. Not right now. We can't have you go and get anything. Why don't you sit in the shade? Okay. You're okay right there? Or maybe a little closer here where the shade is? We can't let you guys communicate right now. I know it's what's last week. Ask for one. You want me to get a cigarette from him and bring it to you? That's okay. I could probably do that. child care okay good for the child in school yep. up the yep. street okay um is my name on there yet no sir it's not i need to get her on there too and him yes so they're on route already probably did anybody call no you want me to call yeah oh i thought you were calling all right let me get homicide It's natural. You're nervous. I'm you have your anxiety. Right. You're scared, right? I don't know how to explain it to you. It's okay. You don't have to. I don't know how to. I'm just waiting for whoever, so. I could tell you this. I'm going to be here just as long as you are, including my... Wow. I'm, I'm welcoming this breeze right now. It's kind of warm. All right? So just bear with us. I know. All right? If you could, like, give me whatever updates or anything that you know of, that's just how I work. So I know, like, kind of what... Well, let me look at my computer see. We already got a, a detective on his way. Thank He's you. on the screen. Okay. Hey, Sarah. Did you get enough water? No, if you want to stay seated, don't. I don't want you getting lightheaded. I feel weird. So remember I said the detectives were going to come out and talk to you and go from there. You know what I'm saying? They're here. They're going to ask you a few questions and then go from there, okay? okay. All right. All right, sir. My name's Chelsea. It's my partner, Scott. Um, to my understanding, you reside here? Yes. Okay. Is it just you? Um, and that, George. Okay. Um, I have a nine-year-old. Really. It's 50 Brian, my your former husband. Your former husband, okay. Um, but you reside here with George, and then your son lives with you, or lives, there's 50-50? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, from what um, has told me, um, she explained um, last night that you guys were drinking a bottle of wine, um, and around midnight, um, you decided you guys... 12 30 yeah. Okay. You guys decided to play hide and seek. Well, we were playing hide and seek, and then <coughs> was your son home at the time? Or no. okay, no, he was with my 
X. with Brian. Okay. Um, decided to play, we're just stupid like that. Like, sure. We were putting puzzles together, and we were doing artwork. You can see the puzzle that we finished in there, and then the artwork, and then decided to play hide and seek, just being stupid. Okay. So he decided to get in the suitcase. So I thought it would be funny to, and he was laughing about it too, mm -hmm. to dip him up in there. Mm -hmm. I go upstairs and fell asleep. So this morning when I, or this afternoon when I actually got up out of the bed, I thought for sure he was downstairs on the laptop because he was just being really quiet. But then I came downstairs and I'm like, where is he? Like, oh. And then I, that's when I found him. Okay. Um, I don't know what happened. Okay. And then you weren't sure about if you woke up this morning? It was afternoon. I mean, I was awake. Or this afternoon. But I just didn't want to come downstairs. So okay. I just laid in the bed for a little while. And then I eventually came downstairs and was confused about where he was. And then I was like, oh my God, he's in the suitcase still. So I pulled him out and I stretched him out and I started to try to do CPR on him. Okay. I called you guys. Well, I called Brian. Okay. And then I, as soon as he got here, which is 30 seconds down the road, I called you guys. Okay. And the person on the phone had me do the compressions and count with him until and, so you guys showed up. Okay. And, um, so as a part of our investigation, we obviously have to go inside the house. We have to look at things. Are you okay with us yes. going in the house and looking at things? Yes. Okay. Um, okay. Um, just... and forensics. So we have to have our forensics crime scene investigators come out. Uh -huh. Are you also okay with them coming inside, do taking photographs and... Okay. You need to do. Okay. Can, can I ask, is Brian, or <coughs> Brian, I'm sorry, George, is he diagnosed with any kind of medical history? Not that I know of. Not that I know of. I, I don't know. I mean, he doesn't take drugs. I mean, he will have the occasional bottle of wine here and there, but I don't know. Like, well, that was going to be my next question. So I you guys don't, don't normally drink? You just drink once in a while, or? Well, I'm going to say, like, okay, I guess normal drinking is, like, we will have, like, a glass of wine or two, like, while we're cooking dinner. Sure. And, like, Said he doesn't, but I don't know. He, as mean, far as you've no, ever known him, you've never no. seen him. No, I mean, he's from Philadelphia and he, he grew up in Philadelphia and then he went to Massachusetts and then from Massachusetts he came down here. So I don't really know okay. like a whole lot of like medical history or how long like have that. you guys been together? Um, almost four years, like three and a half years. You guys been living here the whole time? Yes, okay. okay. He's never been to the doctor or to the hospital during that time. Um, he had, he and his brother got into a really bad argument at one point, and he had to have facial reconstruction, but he has been in the hospital from that, and then I talked him into going to see, like, a regular physician, so he could get just, like, a regular, like, checkup thing, yeah. but there were no red flags. So How long ago was that? The surgery or yeah, the both, doctor? Both. both. The surgery, I think, was at this point, what, <coughs> two years maybe, two and a half years. The checkup was probably a good two years too. Okay. And, and the suitcase is still in there? I, yep. I'll, okay. Is it normally stored down there? Or did you guys travel recently? No, he was going to start picking some of the, what do you call it, donation in there. So that's why, I mean, that's why it's out? Yes. Okay, you guys didn't recently travel somewhere or anything like that? After you zipped them up, did you move the bag around and mess with them <laughs> at all? Or you just zip it up and walk away and I both were laughing about it, I but I went upstairs and I fell asleep. Okay. okay. But, the, but what position was he in when you put him, when he went in? Was he sitting on his rear end and his head up and he just kind no. of bent over? Okay, so like this is, this is the suitcase. Uh-huh. He was laying on his side. Yes. 
Yeah. You just closed the flap and zipped it around. Yes. Them. Okay. I mean, we were playing. Understandably. Okay. So, he said that I needed to tell you guys about his family. Like, who do I talk to about that? We're going to do that we'll, once we we'll, yeah, once we walk through and see. Me. Yeah, we're, we're going to. We're not going I'm, anywhere. We're going to be here I'm just telling you, like, yeah, I, this is gonna be I'm a while. afraid for my life. I want you to know that. I am afraid that? for my life. His family have never liked me. I'm the blue-eyed white devil is what they call me. So they've never liked me. They've never taken me in. They've never accepted me. I'll put it that way. Have you called any of them? Um, we talked to his daughters yesterday. No, I mean, like, about this. Does no. anyone know? Okay. That's so no I'm... one's going to know until we will be making that notification. So They're going it's... to kill me. Okay, well... Do they live local? Yes. They're down the road. They're going to kill me. His kids are going to kill me in Philadelphia. They're going to kill me. This was not intentional. Okay. And they're not going to understand that. They're not going to accept it. We're going to do a thorough investigation and we will we will take we will definitely make sure that you don't feel scared when we leave here okay when we leave well he's at school he's with your husband i know well ex-husband your husband said that or your ex-husband said he made arrangements for your nine-year-old to be picked up oh okay mom probably okay all right we're gonna go inside if that's okay yes please but can you guys just keep me posted so i know what's going on and don't all you have to do is get their attention if you if you have a question or you need to talk to us. He's standing right there. She'll be right here. Yeah. Okay, but will you guys tell me? Like, so you're telling me, like, you you won't call whoever it is without telling me, right? No. I mean, no. I have all their phone We're not calling. Them. We're not making phone calls. We're actually okay. going to speak to them in person. Yeah. We That'll are. That'll be later They're on. going to. Okay. <laughs> It'll You'll be later. prior to us making any I'm contact. not going to be here. Okay. They're going to kill me. Okay. We'll address all of that, yes. okay, before we leave. Okay? okay? This was... Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Just stay seated, okay, Sarah? I know you're panicking, okay? Just relax. We'll oh, come no, and talk to you. We'll keep checking on you. Hey. Uh, she wants to say something. She wants to talk. Come on. Okay. We're you don't here, know so anything we're... though, like why or how? So that w we will not know the answer to that because we're not doctors. So what's going to happen is he's going to go to the medical examiner's office and he'll have what's called an autopsy. Yeah. That'll be first thing tomorrow morning. I'll know a lot, hopefully a lot more yeah. tomorrow morning as far as him. Um, but I cannot, there's no way I could say how, why. So just by looking at him, like, why is he purple? Oh, that's just, that's normal. When someone passes away, lividity, you turn. As soon as the heart stops beating, it <laughs> starts to settle to the lowest points of the body. And then you'll, it just comes very pronounced. So that's what she just called it. It's called the beginning. It happens to everyone. I'm, like, really scared. I want you guys to know that. We like, have, I'm, look around. We have all these deputies here. So while we're here, nothing's going to happen to you. Before we go, make any notifications. You'll have plenty of time to, to leave or do what Run. you need to do. Whatever you need to do, okay? And we can talk about that more at length. But, yeah, you... We're not, it's not going to be a surprise. Real quick and then, but, um, like, I don't... Like, this was totally, like, not intentional. Like, that's what I'm scared about, too. Like, wait. We'll, we'll have all the answers. We'll, we'll have... A lot more answers tomorrow after medical, after medical exam and looks at it. Like she said, what you're seeing here is common. This is us coming out Protocol. to the scene. Yeah, we, his age, no, no real medical history that, that we know, I know of. of. For him to have passed away, we come out. And I we know. Do yeah. We come out and do an investigation. Medical examiner's office will be sending people out. This is what we do. If he was 75 years old and had a history of heart condition, we wouldn't be here. I just don't know what his, I don't know what it is. Exactly. And that's what we're here to find out. We're just here to get the answers. The answers that you want, the answers that his family's going to want. I just want. really want to see my son. Like, I really okay. need to see my son. Well, I mean, I know I can't go anywhere, but. No. Right. Yeah. So, do I just, like, sit out here and wait for you guys? If you would, yes. Please. Is, is anybody else having to show up, or everybody's here that needs to be here? 
uh, my team's here yeah. that needs to be here, the medical examiners will show up when we call them, but we're not ready for them yet. So they're going to take him, they're going to take some photos, take him, but that's towards the end of it. Um, and they'll be called well in advance when we're ready for them, but we're, we're not ready for them at this point. So we won't be calling them quite yet. Okay? So like I said, I got to go do some paperwork. I am. Um, they're going to chat. Um, with some people and then we're going to come back and, and talk to you if you're okay with that. Yes, um, so just give us a little bit more time. Um, like I said, I need to go and do that and he's going to go do what so, he needs to do. So you guys tell his family like today or yeah, after tomorrow? Well. We have to. Yeah, so we have to go and make contact with the Yeah. Once our investigation is pretty much complete here, we once we leave here, we will be going to but again, you'll know. Mm -hmm. We're not going to just go and do it without you knowing. You'll know. We'll, we'll talk to you prior to doing anything like that. But how, I mean, I understand what you guys and how you do it. And, mm -hmm. you know, so, but, like, what do you just tell him? What do you tell his parents? Like, what's it's the reason? Away. Yeah, we tell him and what we know at that point. Yeah. We tell him the truth. And that we're going to be waiting for the autopsy yeah. results. And I will be at the autopsy in the morning. And... Hopefully the doctor will be able to give me some of what they think and see. Yeah. We'll um, give them their number. They can contact them and get it from them. But yeah, they're gonna they're gonna know what we're here, what you know, what we're investigating, and that we're still. We they're gonna think I killed him. Why would they? Think that? They always have said that. They've always, always, always have said that. What have they I said? I told you it's because I'm the blue-eyed white dragon. That's what they call me because they don't want him with me. So he's basically just not really been around his family because he chooses me over them. Even after I've encouraged him numerous times to go over there and see his family. Altamont, but I think he's doing whatever Marine thing he's doing. But the only way your phone's inside, correct? Yes. Does he have a phone? No. He doesn't have a phone. He used my phone. He uses your phone. Yeah, we okay, did it together. Phone. So the only way, the only place I could go is over to Brian's house. Yes. So okay. I don't think I'll have a problem with it. Okay. So well, like I said, we're not going to leave here. If you do not feel safe, you're not going to leave here with you not feeling safe because then we're liable. And then his ex so, wife. She's in Philadelphia, but yes. So, there's going to be a funeral. Right. That, you're talking like days and weeks. Months no, and I'm, just, and I'm talking right here, right now. I this know. is So let me do my investigation. Let me go do this paperwork that I'm talking about because we can go back and forth about what ifs like all day long. I know, sorry. I promise we're not going to leave here for you and you not feel safe. Okay? I promise. What's going on? Please. Okay. Well, it's just, I don't even know what to tell you. It's okay. Just take a seat, have some water, give us a few minutes, let us do our thing, and we'll be back to talk to you, I promise, okay? Like you said, if you need us again, just let them know. Okay. Right? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Today's date is February 24th, 2020. The time now is approximately 15, 25 hours. This is in reference to Orange County case number 20-017904. And your name, sir? Brian. Okay. Um, so, Brian, to my understanding, you were called over here. Um, so can you just take me back to this morning and your involvement with Sarah, which is your ex-wife? Yes. Is that correct? Okay. Yes, yes. We've been divorced about a year and a half. Okay. Um, well, I started calling her probably 1030 or so. It's her day to pick up the kid, but okay. it doesn't always happen. One or two days a week, maybe she gets them. Um, so um, out of the five, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So and what um, do you like every other day? You're you're supposed to. Well, we're or? supposed to. She's Monday, Tuesday, on Wednesday, Thursday, and then we alternate Friday through Sunday. Is how it's supposed to. I was actually my lawyer back a couple of weeks ago was I was looking to get a change because she she can never stick to it. There's always 
some reason why. So it's general that I start calling her around to find out if she's actually going to get him, even though yesterday she told me she would. So I start calling her about 10.30. Um, never got any answer until... So I finally got a hold of her at 12.49. Um, and did she call you or you call her? No, I, I called her. I had called her at... Um, 11.25, I did that twice, I always call twice, because generally she's asleep or whatever, and, um, then I called her two more times at 12.21, and then I called her again at 12.49, and that's when she answered. Okay. Um, freaking out, saying that George was dead, and could I please come over? So, um, I told her, you need to call the police, mm -hmm. and, um, went and, uh, uh, got the dog, my dog in his uh, crate and everything um, and started heading over here she called me again at 12.54 asking if I was going to be coming over if I would left yet um, and I told her I had already left, I was going to be there in a couple minutes, so I got here uh, knocked on the door uh, walked in the just right in the front entrance area um, told her once again you need to call the police was she on the phone with anyone when not you yet, saw her? Not yet. Not okay. yet. She was shaking. She was trying to get herself something to drink because she was just, like, freaking out. So that's when she got on the phone and called, and I said, I'm going outside because I don't really want to be in here right now. So I came outside, and I sat in my car until people showed up, and okay. <laughs> it's kind of where we've gone from there. So Okay. So you called her about five or six times before she answered. Yeah, which... Completely normal. Normal to you. Okay. Um, the rotation real quick. So Monday, Tuesday, she'll have them. Wednesday, Thursday, you'll have them. And then you rotate each weekend. Yeah, well, it's, like it's every other weekend? How it's supposed to work. Generally, it's one or two times, maybe a week. I, I think she had him last Tuesday was the last time he was actually over here. Um, and spent the night? Yes. Okay. It's probably another week before that. You think he stayed here last Tuesday? Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was last Tuesday. Okay, so you technically have him more than she does. Is, oh, yeah. Is that where you're getting? Yeah, that, okay. that's that's why I said I was going so to the So even though that's how it's supposed changed. to be, you still have him Yeah, the there, there's, it's a not a good day, George is in a bad mood, <laughs> or whatever else reason. I, I think sometimes just she wants to stay up and drink and can't really do that if she's got to wake up and take him to school the next day. Right. Any number of different reasons, so. But. Okay. How long have you known Sarah? Yeah, so probably, I mean, 20 years. Probably dated for quite a while. And then um, got married, whatever it was, 12, 13 years ago, something like that. Well, I guess 12, 13 years ago before the divorce. So I guess like 14, 15 ago, something like that, maybe. Okay. What can you tell me about her? Um, I, I don't... She's generally not... She, she can get a bit violent when she drinks. Um... And, not to this kind of extent. If right, I, I yeah. don't know what happened exactly. But, right. No, um, I'm just looking for... You but know, um, you know, that, that, that was part of it. Um, the alcohol has gotten worse and worse and worse over the years. Um, that's one of the main reasons why I divorced her. Um, I just couldn't deal with it. I mean, it got to the point where, I mean, on weekdays, she'd go out, and I guess the George person is one of the people she had met. Because um, I separated at one point and went over to my parents' house to live for a few months. <laughs> And I guess she met him over at the pool place or something like that. But I had come back when we were in therapy trying to work it out. And I mean, on, on a weeknight when he's got school the next day, I've got work the next day. I mean, she was out till 3 o'clock in the morning when the bar closes. And she'd bring people back over on the back porch. I mean, one time some random person walked into my house and started screaming for Sarah at 3, 30, 4 o'clock in the morning when we're trying to sleep. I, mean, I just couldn't get over it. So did you used to live here? No, no, no. no I, I bought I bought her out of out of our house. Okay, okay. I, okay. I, I, I was going to just sell it and move because I kind of mm -hmm. wanted to go back to College Park, which is where I'm from. But right. I thought it would be maybe easier for me if I just bought her out and kept that house so we had a little bit of continuancy, kind of. Yeah. Understandable. So that's what I ended up doing. And then she moved right down the street here. So. And how long would you say the alcoholism has been a part of her life? Um, well, I mean, it's always been a part of her life. Um, it seemed to have gotten worse and worse. I, 
I think more or less kind of since we had and I think a lot of it was the fact that she kind of I guess maybe felt trapped or something Okay. that um, I mean before that I mean whenever she wanted you're outside having a drink oh I'm gonna go play pool you go over across the street you play pool for a little bit yeah that, that's not happening anymore when she got a kid right um, so how old your son he is nine so um, but I mean she, she she started just getting really angry when she drank a lot um, she said last night she fell asleep I there were there were plenty of times where she just basically passed out from drinking so um, so you've you've witnessed her pass out from drinking. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, and when she passes out, is she like out cold? Oh, she's out. Like how how difficult would it be to like wake her? Oh, well, I mean, if if I were to like shake her or something, <laughs> right. I could probably wake her up. But me making a phone call or noise probably wouldn't do it. Okay. Um. And would she be like in the middle of doing something and just like out cold, or would she no, like it, go to bed? Yeah, and it would just be, be it, out cold. Yeah, she wouldn't like fall over or anything. It would be more <laughs> of a lay down, and then she just out. Right. Okay. Um. What do you know about her and George's relationship, if anything? Um. It was. It was. I mean. I think she had him arrested like five or six times for domestic violence. I mean, he stuck a steak knife in the back of her leg one time. Okay. Um, every so single. He's been arrested. So has he always been the one that gets arrested, or has she ever? She been was also one of the times. Okay. Um, one of the times, both of them were arrested. Um, uh, but all the others have been him. But I, the very next day, she's in there trying to get him bailed out. So I. Right. I don't know. Basically, they get drunk, they get in a fight, she gets upset, she calls the cops. I mean, granted, I mean, I saw lots of black eyes, bruises. On her? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, there, there definitely was. Now, would you ever, would you see George as much as you would see him or her? I hardly or ever saw him. You hardly I, ever. I, I, honestly, I didn't like being around either one of them. Right. To be honest, and him more so. So. Why is that? Um, just, I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> it, it's my ex-wife. Um, she made me really mad with everything. Um, how the whole divorce went down and just, I mean, the way she acted and the way she changed and the way they both are, I mean, what it's done and everything else. I just, I, he's, he's, not, he's, not, he's nobody I cared to see. Let me, let me put it right. that way. I mean... It's not like I really went out of my way to, like, I, it's just not. When you guys do drop-offs or anything, is it always through the school, or would you, like, have to come here and see them, or, or no? No, it, it's you pretty much always during the school. Some, cool. okay. so, now, sometimes she would come over or something like that. Um, sometimes he would be driving, but, I mean, he would just stay in the car. Or she would come in, so, I mean, I w- really wouldn't see him. So it's not like you have, like, conversations with no. George? No, I mean, I mean, maybe a few times when they drunkenly called me at night because she was telling me she needed to escape because of whatever's going on, or she's put him on the phone. But I don't know. When's like the last incident that you recall of there being like a domestic dispute between her and George? Um, I mean, she told me like a week ago. She had to escape from the house and wanted me to come pick her up. I told her I wasn't going to because I'm, I'm just tired of it happening. I right. mean, it was midnight. I mean, child's trying to sleep and just. Right. Honestly, I don't always believe her when she said these things were going on. And I she mean, called you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I mean, apparently she went back inside and slept well. So the fine mood the next day. I guess didn't really remember calling me. So I don't know if it was, was just up again? if it was just a she wanted to come over to. I don't know. She keeps on trying to come over to like hang out or something like that, or um, she'll come over to spend time with Lucas rather than actually just having him over here like he, she's supposed to. But she right. wants to come over there and play with him. And so um, I'm not sure how real that was. Um, last time I know there was an actual physical con- confrontation. Mm-hmm. Um, it's probably been a little while because this last time uh, George got arrested, I know he, he was on pre-trial, whatever, something. I don't know. He had a parole officer. He had a domestic violence class. He's like... 
so that's the last time the, the basically the last time he was arrested was the last physical altercation that you recall I think so okay I, I don't know for sure but I think so and you have any idea what year or month that may have been um back a few months maybe a few months ago yeah something like that maybe I don't think it was incredibly long okay like around the holidays of last year before the holidays um I think it was probably before the holidays okay. I'm trying to remember okay. because oddly enough it was there was like a three week period where she actually had all the time she was supposed to because he was in jail for a month or something like that okay because they wouldn't let him out <laughs> yeah and you said when she drinks that she can get physically aggressive. She can. I mean, she, she did it to me a lot where she'd hit me and stuff like that. I mean, she, she's tiny. I yeah. Mean, she, what, she, what do you mean hit, though? Like, open hand smack you or, like, try and she, punch she would, you? Yeah, she'd punch me. I mean, more arms. She she many, many times would use her claws. I mean, I, I had scratches on my neck at times, on my arms. I mean, things like that where she'd dig with her claws. Okay. Um, I... I I never got that drunk, and I had restraint. I never touched her back. I right. think George didn't have that restraint, and at that times he would hurt her back. So I mean, for, all, for all I know, all the times he got arrested, she started it. I don't know. I wasn't there, so. Mm -hmm. But I know she could get violent at times. Okay. And but I mean, it, it. I don't know. It, it, it wasn't anything too. I don't know. Too much. I mean, just. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, you, you don't feel like she. Was a huge threat, I'm no, assuming, no, right? No. Yeah, like you could handle yourself. Yes. Um, did she drink daily? I think pretty much. Okay. And do you know, like, her drink of choice? Ah, uh, that would be vodka. Vodka. Or wine, but okay. vodka is the big one. And does she or George have a job? No. Okay. Um, she hasn't worked for over two years. Um, well, I guess you could maybe call what he's got a job. He, he worked at the Ace Hardware up across the street here. Okay. Um, which is now going out of business. Okay. Um, he, he kind of off and on worked there. When he did work, it was 15, 20 hours a week, something like that. I mean, my alimony and stuff basically pays for where they live. So, gotcha. I mean, they, they didn't need a ton, but I mean, she, she was always calling to borrow money and. But it, yeah, it's been like two years since she got a job. Okay. Uh, did when you came over here? I know you said that she called you, freaking out, saying he was dead. Did she give you any more? Like, did you ask why or she, how? She, or? she she told me that um, they were playing last night or something, and he got in the suitcase and she fell asleep. Okay. That's all she told me. So I don't know anything beyond that. Okay. Um. And I really didn't talk to her much because I came inside. I told her, you need to call the police. And then I came back out. And I think she went on the back porch to smoke a cigarette. So I didn't even really talk with her much. <laughs> oh, like she was going outside. To, did you see her take a cigarette? And yeah, she was going outside with a... Well, I also know when the cops showed up, she kept on telling them she had a cigarette burning out there. And she needed to go put it out. Okay. But they were keeping her away from stuff, I guess. Right. Okay. But, um, yeah, she wanted me to come back there with her. I was like, I'm going out here. I don't really want to be in here, so. Right. Um, and that's when she went to call 911? Well, she called 911 while I was in there. I was standing right in the foyer area. Okay. Um, and, I mean, it was apparently a pretty quick conversation, and that's when she started to go that way, and I just told her I'm going out front, so. Okay. Okay. So they were playing, and she went upstairs and went to bed. I don't know After where she, she went. She, she just told me she went to sleep. Or she went to sleep. Okay. You don't know where. I don't know where. You didn't ask more questions. <laughs> I didn't right? ask more questions. I leave that to you guys. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was in the foyer. Oh, no, not today. Oh, other before than today. before today. Um, I'm trying to remember if I've been in there. I haven't even really been over here lately. Um, so it's been a long time. It's probably been at least weeks, maybe. Play baseball or anything yet? Um, we've tried to get him into sports. He's not a big sports person, really. Um, Did you ever play baseball? Um, he didn't play baseball. Um, um well, I mean, I had him like a t-ball set and stuff like that, and we'd play what, catch. Was it and, like a plastic t-ball set, or what kind of equipment? 
Oh, no, well, this is when he was like three years old. It was a little plastic thing I had in the backyard. Did you ever buy him any baseball bats or anything? Um, I bought one for over here that Sarah said for um, and George to like play with or something. That was like a year ago or something, maybe. What kind of bat was it? Was it a wood bat? A yeah, bat it's, it was a wooden bat. Um, like a, I think it was like a junior size thingy. I don't know. It's something that I looked like kind of for his height or something. I think. Sorry. Um, would you mind if I took a picture of your call log to show oh, sure, sure, sure. Um, that you've all the You just attempts. want to see hers or like zoomed in on hers so you can see all those? <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Um, so I'd say starting from today, um, I know her phone. Did you text with her at all today? Not today. I don't think I did today at all. Um... Uh, that was last night. She was drunkenly texting me. <laughs> last what night? Time? Yeah. What time? That was 11 o'clock at night. I think that was that last night. Last night was Sunday. What does it say? Oh, that's Saturday. Never mind. Saturday. That, that was Saturday night when I was watching the baseball game. Okay. Um, yesterday was just that. When I, she said she, her account was in the negative. <laughs> so I transferred her a little bit of money to get her out of the negative. She sent you, a, oh, that was the morning. Okay, so she thanked you at 11.56 that morning. Yeah. Right? Sunday. Okay. What's the last thank you? What time? Okay, so just a few yeah, times. Yeah, and then that one at 12.01. Okay, so afternoon, Sunday afternoon. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then the calls. Do you need like. Yeah, I'm gonna, okay. yep, I'll start from the top where it has her information. Go ahead. You could scroll down. And that's okay. fine. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, has Liz ever told you anything about her, like, witnessing anything between her and George? He's, he's heard arguments and things like that. Okay. Um, he's not a big fan of staying over here, honestly. Okay. Um, just because... They, 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 they get in arguments and stuff like that. I don't think they've ever um, had a physical fight in front of him. Okay. But I know there's been arguments he's told me about. Okay. Um, there's been times where I think things were starting to get to that point. Mm -hmm. And she has called me to come pick him up. Okay. And bring him back over to my house. So. Yeah. Okay. She's generally um, pretty good about um, having me come get him if, um, which leads to me not having a life because I can't ever do anything. Right. <laughs> so oh. I can't go anywhere because I'm too worried about something happening and me having to be over here quickly. <laughs> yeah. Okay, do you have anything else? Yeah, do you know if she's ever had any issues with drugs in the past? To my knowledge, she's never really been a drug person. She's big on alcohol. But um, I don't think she's ever... done. I mean, I think she told me like one time, like back before we got divorced that at, um, I don't know, this bar thing over there across the street, near the Walgreens, whatever it's called. Okay. I, I've never been there. But somebody gave her a little bit of cocaine, like, two years ago or something like that. But I've never known her to do drugs. What about George? Um, <laughs> no clue whatsoever. Okay. Um, that, she's never she's complained never, to yeah. you? No, no. That's not to say these things don't happen, because mm -hmm. um, I try to keep myself out of and away from... Not. them in general but right which vehicle is yours uh the prius right up here I in front of us? yeah yeah i mean you guys have been separated for what do you say five we've been divorced about a year and a half we've been we were separated a good eight months before that or so so and we had been separated one other time before that before we got back together and we're trying to do therapy which didn't work at all so how long has she been living in this <laughs> apartment um, ever since we got divorced, so... Just a year and a half ago? Um, no. No, 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 longer than that then. Um, because I took over the house. I moved in there and she moved here. Um, because I told her I was buying her out of the house. So I guess it has been longer than that. Um, I think she just said she renewed, so maybe just past two years? Okay. That may be right. So I think she said she's been here like four years. No, she's been with George. I don't, know. I don't remember what she said. Yeah, she, she was so with she was here. with George before we were divorced. So. Yeah. Um, and any time that 
uh, that you recall when you guys were together um, and she would be drunk. Did she always like resort to getting angry? Like, is she an angry junk or would she like... She, her, her main problem is she can't stop. Okay. I mean, she can't go out and have a glass of wine with dinner. Right. That's not a thing she can do because once she starts drinking, she will continue drinking basically until she out. She goes to sleep. Yeah. When that's, she were, if she were to be drunk, would she like want to play games with you? Like, did you guys? Oh, there, like, yeah. There's a there's a really good period where <laughs> she is very good, but then she drinks past that and she gets into the angry bits. Okay. Can you just raise your right hand for me? Do you promise and swear everything we've talked about has been true and accurate to the best of your knowledge? Yes. yes. Now, how do you fit the green chair? It doesn't move. Appreciate you coming in. Yes, ma'am. Can I, I want to ask you about these whenever we have a moment. Sure. Um, so, obviously, um, he received his autopsy. So... I'm going to read you your rights again because I, we have to talk about that. And since I'm talking about the incident, we just have to do it. Just like we did yesterday. Protocol. Just okay. like we did yesterday. Remember I read you the rights? Yeah. Your rights? Yeah. So it's the exact same thing, but since I'm asking you follow-up questions, I need to read them to you, okay? Sure. All right. So you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say may be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer before and during questioning without charge. If you cannot afford a lawyer and want one, one can be provided for you before questioning without charge. Has anyone threatened you or promised you anything to get you to talk to me? No. And do you understand what I just read you? Yes. Perfect. Okay. So, this morning we went to his autopsy, um, and we were informed of some injuries that he has uh, by the doctor. So, I want... Where? Um, so, he's got scratch marks to his back. I know what that's from. Okay. And um, it's called a contusion. Do you know what a contusion is? So like basically you're getting hit and then you know you you, you get a mark from it. You'll get bruising. Like some, okay. someone hit you or something like mm -hmm. that. It's called a, a contusion. So he had some injuries to his left shoulder. Um, he had um, he had a cut near his like lip. We could see we could see his um, his mouth was a little. Uh, I haven't laid a hand on him. Okay. I also too. I he fell off my son's bike. Okay. So I don't know. And he's notorious for running into the wall okay. or the hall tree. Okay. So I. Okay. I what, don't, what about the scratches? Because there's also sex. Yes. Okay. Because there's also like a like a scratch on like the back of his neck. Like kind of like going, but it's like going straight across. I have no idea what that's from. And they're all recent. Like they 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 occurred recently. It wasn't something that occurred post or that occurred a week ago or two days ago, three days ago. They definitely occurred, you know, the night leading up to when he was. In all days. honesty, all honesty, we have not gotten into it. Okay. That's why, like, the only thing I thought you guys were going to ask me about, which I was going to be honest with you anyway, are the scratch marks on his back. Mm-hmm. Everything else, I have no idea what it is. No okay. idea what it is. Nonetheless, I've had my son over the house, too, so... I well, your son was there when? When was he last there? Oh, uh, gosh. Last my week? understanding, he was there, like, last Tuesday? Last... I don't know if it was Tuesday, but, yes, he was there last week, so... Well, we're talking about Sunday. Yeah. We're, make, we're just talking about what occurred Sunday. Because, like I said, the injuries are... They occurred within that time period. So you're talking about day before yesterday? Sunday leading into Monday. You Where called us yesterday at 1, so, but the incident you guys were painting and stuff the night prior. Correct. So we're talking about Sunday and That's then into why Monday. I'm thoroughly confused because we had a good time mm -hmm. sitting on the back porch having wine and smoking a couple of cigarettes and then decided to go inside and literally paint, do puzzles, and play. Mm -hmm. And listen to music. That's why nobody got out of sorts. This, this is what's mind blowing to me. Like I don't, okay. I have no clue. Nobody laid a hand on anybody. He also had, um, like on the left side of his forehead, he had basically bruising, um, and um, 
on like his head and his skull. I have no idea. As if something hit him. I consider have not force touched him. Trauma. I have not touched <coughs> him. I have not touched him. Then how would you get those injuries? Tell me and we'll both know. I have not touched him. Yesterday, when we took photographs of your overall body, um, and they did the buccal swabs, did they go under your fingernails? No. Okay. Are you willing to let us absolutely swab underneath your fingernails? Go for it. Okay. <laughs> no idea. And I don't want to seem out of sorts, but I have no idea. We had a good day. Mm -hmm. It was a good day. Today I didn't even have to use my AK. I gotta say it was a good day. We've had good days lately. Mm -hmm. Even considering everything that's going on with our jobs and life in general and ex-wives and everything. It's been good. Like, I don't even know where this is coming from. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. The last physical was probably, you said, I think, what, a month ago? Maybe. Where you got the injury, right? What? You said that was a I'll month ago? a few weeks, give or take, yeah. A few weeks. That was the last, like, physical altercation between the two of you? Um... You said a month ago you hit you with a curtain rod. Yeah, with a curtain rod. That's why I can't believe you guys didn't take that either. <coughs> well. Like, we've been good. I don't know if, like, it's since the last time he got out of jail. Like, we've been good, and he's been having his classes mm -hmm. and his, seeing his probation officer, who's amazing. So... What do you mean by good? What's your definition of good? The probation officer? No, no. You said you guys have been good. What's your definition I've of good? I've been good. I don't think you all understand. He comes at me all the time. He comes at me. So it's either I flee or try to go upstairs and go to sleep. That's usually what it is. And I don't know if you talk to Brian about any of that, but most of the time when I flee, I go over there. So. Right, but you're saying that you guys have been good, and when I asked you yesterday, there has been, the last incident that you could remember was the curtain rod incident, which you said was a month ago. So Give or take. Right. So what do you mean by he comes after you? Like, he gets belligerently drunk. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know if you all have looked through my phone yet and seen any of the pictures and the videos that I have taken. Mm -hmm. And the at one point, I started documenting everything. Okay. So you all will see in my pictures, bloody fingers, split foreheads, he split my nose. I've got this. Right. I don't know if Brian told you about it, where I had to have almost what? I had one really bad surgery, but then it got really, 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 really bad, where I had to go like four or five more times afterwards for them to tend to it, mm -hmm. from him poking me in the back of the leg. Right. So it's... Then why are you still with him? Everybody asks me that. When I tell you guys this, I really love him. <laughs> like, I do. And I feel like I can help him. Like, I feel... Like I could help him, which I did because he's come a really he came a really long way from where he was in Philadelphia to moving back to here and to dealing with everything else that he's been dealing with. Mm -hmm. I've really helped him. I've bailed him out of jail, what, three times. I've gone to every single hearing and every single arraignment, everything that I did for him. Gone to see all his public defenders, go to the state, I've gone to the state. I I did everything for him because I'm trying to help him because I have a, I had hope in him. And he was trying. He was really trying. Just, and then he starts to think about things, and it just, I think he gets overwhelmed. And then it's like, the next thing I know, he's drinking. So it's like, oh, man, I know where this is going to go, so I'm going to go upstairs and read a book, or I'm going to go for a bike ride, or I'm going to do something else. Where I don't want to drink. I don't want to drink. The occasional wine, whatever, or if it's a weekend, that's when you, you have a good time. You don't have to wake up the next day. I have to wake up the next day and do things. I have to tend to, I have to take him to school. I have all this stuff to do. He doesn't know how to, I guess, maintain himself where I can do 50 things at once and still know the 50 things more previously, prior than I need to get done. He can't process like that. He didn't process like that. So it, he would literally, not literally, but had smoke coming out of his ears. So the next thing you know, he doesn't want to deal with it, I'm going to go get something to drink. So the majority of the time, I would hang out outside or do something else because I don't want to drink. And every time, every time, his job broke his heart. And it made me sad because he had so much pride in his job.
job. And the store that he took care of so much totally went downhill. Mm -hmm. And that broke his heart because he had put so much work and effort into fixing it up. And his manager was awful and basically gave up on all of the employees. So I think that had a huge bearing on why he would drink so much. His ex-wife is bonkers. Mm -hmm. She was all over him all the time. Send me money, send me money, send me money. How can I send you money when I don't have a job? And he's still trying to take care of me and Lucas by paying a bill here or there, getting some groceries. So he always had something on his mind, which is why, again, I got the puzzles and the bank to try to get him off of it so we don't have a drink or he doesn't have a drink. So when you all see my phone, you can see all of the damage he has done to me and the videos of him smashing my television because he's belligerently drunk. Where most of the time, I just don't want to be there. And I try to help him. I try to calm him down. Mm -hmm. Eventually, he just passes out. Well, yesterday, I mean, it sound like you guys were just drinking, like, a glass or two. Like, yeah, you obviously had the bottle, but you, I mean, you sense. told me on the, yeah, but you told me on recording, like, that you were not drunk, he was not drunk, you guys were having I, a good time. I don't get, I can't get drunk. I, number one, I do not want to get drunk. I don't like being non compassmentous having my wits about myself. I don't like feeling out of control. Mm -hmm. So... I'm just saying, you're you're making it sound like, like he's a raging alcoholic today, and yesterday I was kind of asking you those questions, and you're like a little defensive, like, no, we're not alcoholics, he, I'm not. we are not, you know, but you guys were both sober on Sunday, to your knowledge, because when I said you went and passed out, you were like, no, I didn't pass out, I just fell asleep, so now it's kind of like, what is it? Is it, were you guys drinking, and it got out of hand, and... No. It got physical? No. Or is it... Sunday was one of the better <coughs> days that we have had in quite some time. He's dancing with my dog. You can see that, too, on the pictures. Him loving the dog. He loves the dog. And dancing around, having a good time, and just, just being happy kind of thing. He doesn't know... I can't... I mean, I can get, like maybe two, three glasses of wine, and I'll be fine. But I have to have my wits about myself because I don't know what to expect. Well, let's talk about Sunday. What was Sunday? How were you, like, how many glasses of wine did you have? How many glasses of wine did he have? The bottle was gone. I mean, I don't know if you poured any out. Yes. No, that was from previous. You said that there was a half bottle left yeah, over. Yeah, about this much. Mm -hmm. And then um, that you had went, that, or well, I don't even know how the wine, how'd you guys get the wine for Sunday, I'm guessing he went to Publix. He's does he well, do the does he like leave the house and you stay home or do you go to Publix? Like, because I know I'll go with him. Okay, did but you go with him Sunday to no. Publix? So most of the time, what happens is because <coughs> the convenience store where we get cigarettes is here, and then Publix literally is cattywampus walk us to it. Okay. So what he'll do is he'll start go by Publix and then on the way back catch the convenience store. Okay. So is that I, what he did Sunday? I, I'm guessing that's what he did because the next thing I know he's walking in with a bottle. Okay. So that's okay. it's him trying to be nice so I don't have to go out and do it. Plus there's stuff that are around the house that I had to take care of. So that's usually what will happen. Or I'm folding laundry and he'll go run out and do whatever. Okay. So where were you guys at on hmm. on drunkenness, not drunkenness on Sunday? I you told us you weren't drunk. No, I was not drunk. Right. I was not drunk. So with him, I don't know. I I know when it's like, oh, okay, man, where I have told him, slow down. It's starting to catch up with you. Slow down. Slow down. And another thing, too, is I don't like listening to music with him because he gets too involved in the music, and the music that he listens to is a little rough around the edges and, like, just... It makes me fractious listening to his music. So I kept asking him, let's not, just, let's just you and me talk. You and me will just be the ones that are talking, which was fine because, I mean, he, we were playing with the dog, whatever, and then it's like, okay, now let's do the painting. 
We just did the puzzle, took a break, now let's do this. Sure enough, sat down, we're sitting in there talking, laughing, talking about new movies, we're watching movie trailers while we're doing painting and all that other stuff. So it's still background noise to him because I think that's what he's used to is having background noise. Where me, I can sit in here all day with not a peep. But he always has to have some kind of background noise, which I didn't mind because the trailers were cool. And he was interested in showing them to me, getting excited about movies that were out or upcoming. Okay. So on your laptop you're talking about? Mm -hmm. like, okay. And I mean, and then it, we, it was... But you said it was a good day. Like, you guys didn't have any... Have any re uh, conversations about your relationship? You guys didn't go down like the rabbit hole, like had too many to drink, and you guys start I, getting. Nope. When I tell you this, it made me so happy that he actually listened to what I, I had to say with just, we'll get through it. This will be fine. It's just, it's, it's a small hurdle that you and I together will get through because. I'm talking about the money, jobs, stars. Yes. Nothing no. relationship-wise, though. Like, no issues. Relation like, did you guys have a conversation about your relationship, or was it just about just like what's the going on right now? Got it. I try to evoke it from him so he gets it off his chest because I call him the volcano, where eventually he's going to erupt. Right. And what he has learned in his classes is to communicate, mm -hmm. which is a huge thing in a relationship, right. where he has been practicing communication. So he actually talks to me about things and unburdens himself. Put it on me. I'll sit there and try and figure it out for you. Like I have m almost everything. Mm -hmm. Not a worry. Just tell me. Get it out of you. Right. But it was, when I tell you, I was so happy. Like it was such a good day. I kid you not. The weather was beautiful outside. I'm the one that had him go inside so we can do puzzles and painting and listen to music or whatever else he wants to do. So then he starts doing whatever it is we're doing mm -hmm. together in the living room and then starts talking because I think he gets comfortable with, okay, you know what, we're here, it is a good day. Let me go ahead and explain myself. So I know. Nobody else knows, but I know. Nobody knew George better than I did. I say that I knew George better than himself. And I tried in every way, shape, and form. Ask everyone. I helped him. I took care of him. I miss him a lot, and I didn't even sleep last night. I miss him a lot. I mean, is there any chance it got to be too much for you, and you couldn't handle taking care of him? And I never stopped. Trying to I never stopped. Him. That's what I'm here for. I never stopped. I'm here now because I'm still trying to help him. Yeah, we just don't, I mean, it's unexplainable how he got these injuries, and... I have no idea. You were the only one with him. A hundred percent, right hand to God. I have no idea how he got them. Nobody touched anybody. Nobody touched anybody. Okay. Um, you had mentioned that you take, uh, you would take photos, videos, just kind of like a proof and just in general. Yeah, I started documenting at one point, but that was that was way before I think the last time that he got arrested where he was flying off the deep end. Okay. <clears throat> but then I had him bailed out. I got him out of jail. Right. But because he had violated the pretrial diversion, they this time it's probation, so you don't have a choice in it. You have to go to see your probation officer. You have to go to these classes. It's court ordered. Mm -hmm. Where it took him a while to get used to it and understand, they're not messing around. I even went down and met his uh, probation officer, which I say, I, she, she's wonderful. That's one of my questions too I need to talk to you about. Mm -hmm. Hugged me and said how much she knows that I take care of him. She called me personally one time when George was at work, when he was working. 42 minute phone call. She and I just saying how grateful she is that George has me. And she knows how hard I'm working to help him, just as she is and just as the classes will. So once he started actually going on a regular basis to the probation officer and then to his substance abuse class and his, I don't know what BIP stands for, Matters Intervention Program, mm -hmm. and actually listening to what it is everyone had to say, he changed. 
Like I could, I could see a change in him where before lashing out, he would think about it and would always come home and show me his papers and we would look over his papers together. Where it's like, wow, you actually are learning this in class? And some of the stuff that they would show them, like videos, he would come home and be like, Sarah, I'm so sorry for what I've done to you. Because for a video that he watches to make him feel that way, where it's like, oh man, I have done her wrong. But he's changed. He changed. And that's why you're still with him. Even though he's done all these things to you. And when I tell you I love him, I love him. And when you have, when you love somebody, you have limits. Everybody tells me that. All my neighbors don't tell me that. Mm -hmm. The office, property manager. <laughs> At some point, somebody gets enough, then they have to, to do something to defend themselves. I would just flee, and I don't know if you um, would like to see on my phone, or I think it's I think it's actually on a laptop. I actually because, and you have to understand too, I have like prior to classes in PO, kicked him out how many times? I had him arrested how many times? But you also went down and bailed him out. I know. The next day. What's I know. What's on your laptop? Um, what was I going to tell you? Oh, previously, mm -hmm. I actually looked up how to file a restraining order. Okay. Because so I would kick him out, his parents, because of them constantly having to take him back in, his bags of clothes, all his stuff. The one time, the last time, the father came out and irate and just not even, I, th I don't even know if he knew Lucas was in the car, just opened the back of my car and just started throwing all his crap in, just throwing it, like throwing it, like the car would jostle, he was throwing all his stuff. At that point, because I continually did it, not continually, I think I maybe did it three times, and he has nowhere else to go. They got fed up and said, nope, either you're staying there or you're staying here. But if you're staying here at their place, it's permanent. You're not going back over there anymore. So what happens is he pursues me. So I don't know if you all know where Katie Way Trail is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we it's literally right, right there from our apartment. Mm -hmm. Would ride his bike to work. But before, he would leave extra early and come up to the wall, stand on top of his bike, and poke his head over because he would know that I would be outside having my morning cigarette and cup of coffee. Where, and I would also know, too, what time he would get off of work, where I would know, come getting off of work, he's going to do the same thing. So it's not like I ever got, like, a break from him, where I told you all yesterday, or whenever it was, I started to feel that it was too much togetherness. And when you have too much togetherness, Friction happens. So I'm going to go ride my bike. I'm going to go upstairs and read a book. But what he, every, what does he say? Every waking moment he wants to be with me. So, and mind you, our townhome is either upstairs or downstairs. So it's like if you would like to sit downstairs and watch a movie or play on the laptop, look up some jobs, you're more than welcome to. I'm just going to be upstairs maybe watching one of my shows or maybe reading a book. So, and then when that would happen... We really needed that. So what's for dinner? And then we would cook together and eat dinner and then crawl on the bed and watch a movie. Are you talking about this is like recent? I don't know. You kind of like lost me. Like when, what are you it talking about? It was a while ago. Like a little while ago. <clears throat> but I mean, now you're talking about, now you're talking about tension building up and that you need space. So have you been feeling that way lately or? No. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my thing is too, so you all know. Oh, I, I hate that you can't talk to her, but. Um, D, his ex-wife, when I say a monster, she's a monster. Like, it does, she withholds her, their children from speaking to him. So he gets upset about that, and then she, like, completely berates him about money, about the father that he is, what he did to her, all this other stuff. It doesn't matter. I mean, mind you, this has not, like, been recent. But, which is why he didn't even bother calling anymore, because he knows that he's, she's going to answer and he's going to have to talk to her, so therefore he can't talk to his daughter. The other time, he talked to her, ma made her talk to Cookie. That's on my cell phone, too, so you can see it. Okay. It doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter. What does she have to do, though, with anything about 
what happened Sunday and into Monday. Like no, I'm just saying like previously okay. why the incidents what happened is she plays a big part in it. Okay. On top of job yeah. and money and mm -hmm. groceries and all that. Okay. Sunday, I <coughs> when I tell you this, I have no idea. I have no idea. Is there anybody else at the house? No, nope, it's just me and him. Um, since talking yesterday, do you remember any like time timelines better? Like what time uh, you guys were playing? What time you he was zipped up in the luggage? What time you I went told upstairs? You, we started because we had we cleaned the house a little bit, did some laundry. You started the activities around four, you said. Yes, around mm -hmm. four, four thirty-ish, and then. You just said that it was dark when you were playing hide and seek, and I'm just curious yeah. if you remember. But when we were outside, that's where we would start mm -hmm. and talk about things, and then eventually I was the one that had him come inside, <coughs> so we. Could about what stuff. time do you remember? What time that was is what she's asking. Mm. And you said you went up. You went up to bed around midnight. Midnight. -ish. Fell asleep around 12:30 ish. But those are the only times I have. So I have four and I have midnight. So there's a big gap. So I'm just curious, like, if you recall when you went upstairs to hide in the shower or... Like when we started to play, hide mm -hmm. and seek. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we went inside probably about, if I had to guess, we, were, we weren't out there too long. Maybe about six-ish. Then You're talking about from hanging out outside and like, mm -hmm. okay. Well, we have two beach chairs that are out there. And right. Just enjoy the weather. Gotcha. Plus, it started to get dark and gnats and mosquitoes. Yeah. So, let's go inside. I don't want to be out here anymore. Okay. All right, let's go. So, we're doing whatever. We did it for a while because that puzzle, I don't know if they took it or they saw it. Um, worked on the puzzle again, finished it, started to paint. Well, started listening to music for a little bit. Started to paint. Uh, can we turn the music off? No problem. Started to talk, paint, whatever. Maybe. Gosh, that puzzle. We worked on that for probably a good hour and a half. So, 8 o'clock ish? Is when you went to hide upstairs originally? No, that's when we were like painting. So then it's like, okay, well, I, we can't, I don't want to paint anymore. Let's just, ugh, come on. Okay, you want to play hide and seek? What he does is, okay, tag, you're it. So it's like, okay, we know. Okay, take off. Mm -hmm. That's what we did. And then you went upstairs, and then he didn't come up, and you came down. And the suitcase was there originally because you guys were planning to do donations. And so it was the already suitcase. there. Um, have you guys ever played the, you said you played hide and seek like probably three times in your relationship? Mm -hmm. When you have played, have you ever zipped him up in a suitcase prior? No. Okay. So it was just kind of like that prop was there, and it was there, yes. and it was in play because... Why do you say it like that, though? I would <laughs> never do that. You would never zip him up in a suitcase? It, well, I mean, I mean, we were playing. No, I know, but, time, I'm just, but I'm saying... I'm, well, I'm talking about hide-and-seek, which is a game, so... The suitcase originally <laughs> is in our closet, buried all the way to the back. If you... I don't... I know the... CSI people saw our closet. Our closet needs to be cleaned out really bad. My son's clothes need to be cleaned out really bad because they don't fit him anymore and I'm tired of looking at them. So he took it upon himself, including that suitcase, to take it downstairs so we can get all of our clothes, our donations and everything, and just leave the whole thing by the clothing and shoe thing at my son's school. Gotcha. No, we're just, I'm just asking yeah. out of the, in the past, like, have have you ever zipped him up in anything, jokingly or not? But obviously, no. I understand. You know, you're claiming that Sunday it was a joking matter. You were laughing, yes. he was laughing. But what I'm just asking is, in the past, like, is it something Absolutely that you guys not. normally do? Absolutely not. <coughs> okay. Um, we were actually this last game running out of places to hide because we have a townhome where it's upstairs or downstairs. So. Okay. Um. Okay, so do you remember making any videos or maybe having any cover, anything, any t photos, videos that you remember doing on your phone on Sunday? No. <coughs> no? Uh, I think I took a picture of a dog. Okay. 
but your phone is password protected, you have the password, mm -hmm. he has the facial recognition, so it's not like someone else could be on your phone. No, I have both. But you have the face and the password. Yes. Yeah, but he only has the face, correct? No. To be able to get onto your phone, you told me that he looks at the phone. Oh, I misunderstood. I thought you were asking if I did. Yes, it's me. Okay. Does he have access to your phone? Because you said it's yeah. your phone. Okay, how does he have access? Sarah, can I buy your phone? Yeah, it's right there on the kitchen counter. Okay, but how does he get it. into it? Because it's password protected. He'll, he'll come and get it to me, and I'll just do the face thing. Where sometimes, too, like, he's, <coughs> look, he'll joke with me and say, okay, I need to borrow your phone. And he'll hold it while I'm cooking or doing something do the facial recognition. Okay, so he doesn't know the password and he doesn't have the facial recognition. No. But he is the only other person that would use your phone, I'm yes. assuming other Well, than. Right. But Lucas wasn't there Sunday. Okay. Right. Um, so, to your recollection, no videos on Sunday? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. I mean, I like, I maybe took a picture of them, the two of Tess and the dogs and George and have them dancing, but I mean, or the, it's just Tess. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I have something that I want to show you that we found, um, and it was from your phone. Mm -hmm. Can you see it? If you need to move it around, go ahead. <laughs> No, I don't remember that. For everything you've done to me. Yeah. For everything you've done to me. Your battery's about to die. Shut it down. Oh. Okay. Let me. The battery doesn't last very long. Yeah, it used to last a lot longer than that. I don't know what happened. Okay. Let me just grab something. All right. I was just simply asking because um, you had a, a look on your face when she asked you if you've ever done that before. You look kind of shocked and. No. Okay, but why did you say it like that? Like. I don't think you all understand who I am. Where okay. Well, tell me. I mean, I've always been a straight A student. I am an outstanding mother to my son. Okay. I excel at everything. I. I would not do that. You wouldn't lock some, zip somebody in a suitcase? Well, I didn't, like, completely lock it. I mean, okay. I opened it with one finger. I left enough in there for him to get out. Okay. And I wasn't planning on going upstairs and going to sleep. Okay. No, it was just the way you said it. You guys you are scaring me. Why? Well, we just want you to watch this. This came from your phone. Don't you want to know what's on it? Yes, please. Is it long? Because I don't know how much I can take. Mm -mm. No. I don't know how much I can take. Do I have to watch this? I continuously throw up. I don't sleep. I don't want to see it, if that's okay. <coughs> well, it's on your phone. And you can either explain it or we take it for what it is. Yeah. We're just trying to give you the opportunity to tell us what's going on. That's it. It's that long? Two minutes. No. For everything you've done to me. For everything you've done to me. Oh. Fuck you. Oh. And Fuck is, you. That's you, oh. your voice. Last time we talked to you, you had said that you put him in the suitcase, he had two fingers hanging out, and you I went flipped to bed. him over. I flipped him over, and that's so where it was. I mean, there's two different videos and a still picture where, yeah, it shows you flipping him in different positions, and him saying that he can't breathe, and you saying, fuck So you. this is upside down. 
So in order for him to have gotten into it, it was flipped up. Right. It was flipped up normal. Yeah. Like as if you're packing something. So this is upside down. Guys, this is killing me right now. So this image is upside down, and then this small video that occurred 11 minutes later, it's flipped over the other way, closer to your dining room table. Okay. Now he's obviously still in there. So he didn't. How did that? How did it go from the back to the front? I flipped it. Okay. My plan was not to go upstairs and go to sleep. Well, that's what you did. Yeah. But not intentional, though. No, you told me you went upstairs because what? you were Stopped getting here. ready for bed. Stopped here. Okay, but here? show me where you can see any fingers coming out because there's it's, the end. It's And his head's right here. Mm -hmm. So going like this, rather than going all the way up, it's like this. But why is he saying, I can't breathe, and why is he pushing on it as if he can't get out? And it doesn't it's, show a hole. You, there's, there's no, no hole. Out. There's no fingers. I don't see his fingers. There's no hole. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Like, I don't know, like, what you want me to tell you. I'm just showing you. I'm just telling you what we see yeah. and what we've heard from the other I video. I understand. I understand. He's begging to let for you to let him out. You sound... You're laughing in the beginning, and then in the end, it sounds kind of like a no. It's not malicious. Well, saying fuck you. It's not malicious. Then what is that? What does fuck you mean to you? Well, like if you were to, if I were to tell my oh, partner. Oh, like he does. Like I get called <laughs> everything but a white woman. So okay. I, my intention was not to leave him in there. Please understand that my intention was not to leave him in there. But you went upstairs thinking yeah. that he could get himself yes. out, but the video shows That's at what no I told point you. and I see his fingers. He'll and be up here any like minute. And then 30 minutes later, he didn't show. And he's telling and you. And I he can't, can't wake up. He, Do you he's think not he's able joking? To out. You told me he was laughing, and I... We were before. The video, there's, there's no laughing. When he laughing. first got in there? Both of us were. So how long was he in there for? Like, this video is at 11.12 when it starts, so was he in there for, like, a long time prior to you no. recording this? No. No. So it goes from funny to no longer funny, but I you're the only one laughing. But I didn't think that he was, like, panicky. Like, I didn't, I... So pushing up on a suitcase saying, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. I can't I breathe. I can't breathe. <laughs> George has done that in the past before, too, where it's just like he thinks that he's woe is me kind of thing, where it's like, I well, don't he's think never been locked in a suitcase, but no. now he couldn't get out. So It's kind of, I thought it was and the boy crawling wolf, crying wolf kind of thing. Okay. And again, my plan. But, but nowhere in there is he laughing, is he joking, he is begging. And you're the only one laughing. Okay. And you're the only one saying derogatory comments. Like you're mad. No. Please don't, I don't mean to sound negative, and I don't know if I can say this, but, <coughs> like, it's like you guys are kind of trying to, like, feed me. Like, no, I'm just trying to show you a video that you no longer want to watch because you probably don't want to know the outcome of how and what you said. Well, I know what. You know, you know what's on that video now? No. You remember making that video? No. Why don't you remember making the video? Probably because we had been drinking. But you weren't drunk. Just because I went upstairs and just you because you're us, drunk doesn't you mean that you times that you were not drunk. You said that you had your wits <coughs> about you. You said he had his wits about you. Mm -hmm. You said that you don't like not having your wits. In my experience, if somebody cannot remember doing something to the extent of making two videos and a video and taking a photo, they are intoxicated. Okay. I understand where you all are coming from. Well, we're I get just it. trying to make sense of it. We're trying I get to figure it. out. We're what trying you're to figure out this you video. You explain it to us. We're listening. I <coughs> just did. Like we were playing, and then like I thought it was. My plan was not to go upstairs and go to sleep. My plan was not to. He'll be up here any minute. But, but you again. willingly went upstairs and went to sleep. No one forced you to go upstairs and. Get My pain wasn't bed. also to leave him in the suitcase. So why didn't you take him out? Because I went upstairs, and then I fell asleep. But why didn't you consciously think 
He's asking to come out. He I didn't do it intentionally. What do you think is going to happen if you leave somebody in a confined space like that? <coughs> well, I thought by not giving it up all the way, it would be okay. My plan was not to leave him in the And what was your plan? Waiting for him to come upstairs. And you then said, when he did it? I fell asleep. You said you were up there 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, somebody not coming up. I Knowing that you that the last time you saw him was in the suitcase, 30 minutes later, you're like, mm, maybe I should go check on him? Maybe I shouldn't? No. Well, you See, didn't, that didn't cross your mind because that's it like didn't an, happen. That's like an assumption. Like, that's what you all are thinking. Just We're asking. It's the whole... You tell us. It's the drinking. That's what it is. It's the drinking. I thought it was, like... I thought he was okay. Like, I didn't... That, you he's all, telling you he's not. He's telling you, Sarah, I, I can't I, breathe. He's saying your name, and you're like, that's my name. Don't wear it out. Guys, that's how we are with each other. Like, he has... Nobody understands our relationship. This, the whole suitcase thing, never happened before. Would you leave someone else in a suitcase? Would you leave... In a suitcase, jokingly, because it was a no. joking matter. You put him in there jokingly. Would you leave jokingly no. in there? And you love, right? And you. I wouldn't George. do that to him either. I wouldn't do that to him. So I, I just. Oh. Well, it's not like again. I don't think you all understand. Like it's. I mean, it's not my. In that was not my intention. <laughs> y'all don't have any idea what I've done for him. But by your acts, and that's exactly right. You get to the point where you've done so much for somebody and they don't no. show you any appreciation. He did. Not by by your words in the video. I don't get that. He did. Because you bring up the fact that when he's choking you, you can't breathe. That's how you felt when he cheated on you. You couldn't breathe. And you he's verbally several times told him just fuck you. Well, you well, said it you in, said the, it video, in the video. You won't let us play the rest of it cause you don't want to. When I say him, cheating, it's. <laughs> on his phone. Okay. <laughs> cheating is cheating. I and think so, too. Exactly. It's your definition of cheating, though. So, I mean, yeah. that's what the word cheat means. And that's what you told him in the video. That I couldn't breathe when you cheated on me. No. That's how I felt when he said, Sarah, I can't breathe. And you told him, I don't know what you This is... What would you say if somebody told you that they had done this? Done what? Zip somebody in a suitcase and went up and went to bed. Do you all not think, so you all think that it's like, oh good, I got him in there, now I'm going to go to sleep? Is that what you guys are trying to assume? Yes. Or trying to like, or just the video is very portraying of the opposite of what you told us. No. It does not, no. it is not leading up, it is not matching what statement you gave us in the car. So, and that's why we want to know. And the I don't injury, remember doing those. The injuries okay. are not consistent with what you've told us. So we have a lot of inconsistencies, and this video explains itself. It really, truly does. You don't think that I have thought about <coughs> that? Thought about the video or thought about... But no, again, if you don't mind, please. So you all are assuming that it's like, oh, good, I got him in there, now I'm going to go to sleep? Is that what you all are assuming? Well, it's not an assumption when that's what you told us that happened. That's what mm -hmm. happened. And the video... No. Yeah, I mean... But I'm not going to say... You thought he could so get out on his own. Yes. But the video shows that he cannot get out on his own. But I, but when I unzipped it, I unzipped it with one finger. From the outside. But it had the hole in it. And you're claiming that it had a paper clip, so that's what assisted you in doing it. No. Is what you told us. When I had my sweatshirt, <coughs> I said I thought it had a paper clip on it. It's got. But the zipper part is broken. That. Yes. Which is why we were going to zip it. Yeah. I I just. You were able to unzip it from the outside, very easily, because that's the way they're designed. But you could on the inside too. I don't know how. But why wouldn't he have gotten himself out if he could? I don't asking, know. Like, I don't know asking. if he saw like where the hole was. I don't know. I didn't see a hole. No one I didn't see no hole. fingers You're sticking the only out. One that's, that's what I'm saying. Like he's in one position, yeah. and where his head would be, we should be able to see fingers. Yeah. 
And then when it's flipped over onto this right side, again, his head is closer to us facing the video, so we should be able to see fingers, and we don't see anything. We see no movement of him trying to unzip it or physically unzipping it. All we see is pushing up, trying to push out of it. Please do not assume. I'm not I, assuming. I, I haven't assumed assume. anything. I, I follow evidence. But my intention was not, again, oh, good, I got him in there. Now I'm just going to go to sleep. What do you think someone that knows nothing about this or hears just a little bit like, oh, they were playing around in a suitcase She's been and, then, and then watching and probably that video. Went to sleep. That's what happened. But you let him out before. I mean, you put him in, so why didn't you take him out? That, because I was upstairs and I fell asleep. No, before you went upstairs. You, like, consciously had to walk upstairs. Do you, I mean, you obviously remember going to bed because you were able to give me a time frame on that. Mm -hmm. And you specifically mm -hmm. told me that, that you went I upstairs. Don't, my intention is not for this to happen. I am sick about it. I've never done anything like this before in the past. I am sick, especially with that. I thought I couldn't sleep last night. I don't okay, know. Well, here's the thing. You tell us the last night, you, you vividly remember this when you told us last night that he was laughing, you were laughing, you put him in the suitcase, he has two fingers sticking out, and you go to bed. Now we see something totally different, and it actually shows you upset and, again, using uh, derogatory terms to him when he's begging for his life to get out of that suitcase. So, so what but my thing you is say that we're the, assuming, we're not assuming, but we're the fingers, you but, So it just happened to be that whenever I was videotaping or doing whatever else it was, it just happened to not have that in it. Okay. And you also, in the video, you can't see any holes. There's nowhere in that where the zipper separates and you can see a hole. If there's a hole, he's pushing on it, begging you to get out. We should probably see that, that, that hole. That he essentially would out. have been able to get out. Huh. Alcohol. Based off what you're telling us, he should have yeah. been able to get out. Okay. But the video shows him attempting to get out, begging to get out, and he can't. So that's, that's just what we're trying to figure out. I don't know if maybe you had too much to drink, you zipped it up all the way, and then, you know... I did not zip it up all the way. Okay, well... I did not zip it up all the way. This is horrific, okay? Horrific. It is terrible. Yeah, so horrific. I don't think I'll ever be right because of this. Ever be right. Dealing with everything else that I have in my life, personally, mm -hmm. and then this... Okay whom I loved, it was not intentional. I will put my hand on the Bible. It was not intentional. I would not do that to him nor anyone else. But you did. Not intentional. You intentionally went up to bed. <laughs> I didn't intentionally, intentionally go to him. bed because I'm thinking, okay, hold good, on, he can get on. out. How did you not intentionally go to bed? You said you went up to upstairs and got into bed. That's intentionally going to bed. Waiting for him. And he doesn't come, but you don't go down to check on him. So I happen to go to sleep. When I say go to sleep, and what do you normally do when you go to bed? What do you normally do when you go to bed? What do you mean? What is a bed for? Going to sleep. Right. So you go to but bed. But obviously, you, do you what? Can tell too that like I've been drinking also. You go to bed. You do what? Okay. You kept telling us, hey, I wasn't intoxicated. I wasn't this. I wasn't that. Being drunk and intoxicated, which, yes, okay. you can tell that I had been drinking, but. Okay. So if you weren't intoxicated, then why would you ever leave somebody in a suitcase I, that's begging to get out, that's telling you they can't if breathe? If I weren't, if I hadn't been drinking, you, you still think it would be the same thing? Where it's like, hop in. Uh, I'm going to go to sleep. Is that what you all are trying to do to portray me? We're not trying as? to do anything. I'm simply asking you to explain to me what happened. Everything was fine <coughs> and dandy. I don't Everything call it fine and dandy. Was fine and dandy. Explain you all don't. Okay, for for me to tell you this again, mind you, I've been without him for a day now. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I, I, I mean, I don't know what you all want me to tell you because this was not in any way, shape, or form, hand okay. on the Bible, intentional. Okay. 
So you just left I him didn't there to kill teach him. him. You left him there to teach I him a lesson? You. I didn't mean to leave him there. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You got up and walked away. How is that not intentionally leaving him there? Because I'm looking at the hole knowing that it's, a, it's there. He'll get out no harm. Because you don't. And then he doesn't. But then the, you don't go check on him. You say you're up for 30 minutes and he doesn't come up. You don't go down and check on him? I'm in the bed. You even move and don't I mean, off. You move. You admit to moving the suitcase like over. So you roll it. You roll it over. Like it's not like I didn't want him to be like that. Don't. You didn't want him to be upside down. How do you even get upside down? Right. You guys are killing me right now. I just want you to hear me. That's how he talks to me most of the time. I don't know how, I don't know how you want me to say it. I'm just trying to figure <laughs> out what you would expect to happen to somebody when you leave them in a suitcase. I didn't mean to leave him in there. Okay. What's your but reasoning for um, not calling 911 sooner? Because I didn't know what to do and how horrific it was. I called Ryan and like what, five minutes later I called you guys? Not even five minutes. Nonetheless, that I had to like try to, I was trying to do CPR. I was trying to do CPR. I had to get him out and try to do CPR and then call you guys. And it was continually doing <laughs> CPR with the dispatch on the phone where he had me count out loud to help me focus on what I was doing. It just, I don't know how, I mean, you you can sit here all day long and say, I thought he was going to get himself out, but that he didn't, and you went upstairs, and you stayed there for 30 minutes before you fell asleep. How, but can I say, too, like... You chose not to ever at any point during that 30 minutes walk back okay. down and check on him. No, wait one second. Because I know, like, with you all, and then, like, because <coughs> you can continually ask me, like, time frames, time frames, time frames, where I told you, like, I don't bother even looking at the clock most of the time. So it's, like, a guesstimate. So I, for all I know, I was, maybe it was 10 minutes. Okay. But the point is, you left the living room where he was begging for help and went upstairs. Regardless again, of how long you were there, you left. You say, I, I thought he the was a, a boy calling wolf. Again. Okay. So when he asked to be let out, like, what's your reasoning for not letting him out? When I was upstairs? No, when he's asking on the video. He asked multiple times. He asked to be let out. I can't breathe. What? Like, why didn't you let him out? Well, number one, I, uh, number one, I had no idea it was going to end like that. Okay. Number one. Okay. Uh, number two, just, you know what? I'll give you five minutes or so in there. That's, they'll give you five minutes or so. Five minutes for what? Well, based off the video, one video is at 11.12 and the next one's at 11.23, so you actually gave him at least 11 minutes per video recording. So my, my thing is, when it stopped, he asked multiple times, I mean, why? Why did you not let him out? It's just a simple I, question. To be honest with you, I, I mean, I don't Were you punishing him? No. <laughs> Well, that's what you're saying in the video. Um, this is what you get. This is yep. what you make me feel like. See, and then it's all backfired on me. Like, it's all backfired on me. And I understand the severity of this. I just... You did. It's awful, I know. Okay. It's awful. And I will tell you both this right now, too. I will never drink alcohol again. Okay. Like, I will never drink alcohol again. I don't care what it is in any way, shape, or form. Okay. I'm but let's get back to this. What was the reason for leaving him when he's begging to be let out? I don't understand that. What I have a feeling was, and again, it's the whole time frame thing. You all I, I, I'm not asking you a time frame. I don't care about a time frame. So he's in the bag saying, I, I can't met, And you. I, my God. And you say, fuck you. When he... So, like, for, like, the whole few minutes that he was in there, like, I... Minimum 11, but yes, well, go ahead. It's a few. 11. Minimum. But, but one video. Well, in between the two videos. Between the two videos? Minutes. Okay. Yeah. So, so, uh, so what was the so question again? 
when he's begging for his life, telling you he can't <laughs> breathe, let me out, and you say, fuck you, why don't you just let him out? What are you trying I to prove to him? There was obviously I, something in your head that you were thinking of when he was asking to let you, be let out. You're like, no, again, it's no. the boy calling wolf. Okay, but where does where does this game end? I don't. Did you say this is a game? You got obviously in there. like the wrong way. So what was your intention for leaving him in there? And it's not fair. It is not fair. You guys are trying to again. Oh, he's in there. Night, night. That's what happened. No. That's absolutely what happened. Intentionally. How's it not? You got up off the couch, walked up the flight of stairs, and got in your bed. Thinking he was going to get out. And he didn't. And you still didn't go down and check And it's out. the whole 30-minute thing that you guys are trying to do. I don't care about Whatever. It's like, I, for all He's I know, it's 10 minutes. He's begging for his life. He's begging for his life, telling you he can't breathe. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Like, I don't. I didn't intentionally mean for this to happen. But you can't tell you us intend? why you left him in there and went upstairs. So that's my only issue. Like, what am I supposed to write? What do I write? So my thing is, though, it's what I have a feeling is I went upstairs and just hit the bed kind of thing. But, again, I'm thinking he'll be up here any minute. But then I go out. Well, my question is why didn't you just let him out prior to going up? I don't know why. He's begging to be let out. He's not laughing. <laughs> He's not having fun. This, you said, this, you I don't said know. this was supposed to be fun. You were laughing before. Before you said he was laughing, you were laughing, you went upstairs, he had his fingers out of the bag, and he was playing. Well, obviously that's not the case. So are you guys, so what is it you're trying to, like, we're just trying to figure out why. Why? Why? What? Why? What was why? the motivation for leaving him in the bag? Why he was left in the bag. Why the video? I didn't have any motivation. It was me, he and I having a great day, fooling around and being stupid, and apparently me going upstairs and going to, okay. hitting the bed, not going to sleep, okay. where it's like, hmm, I'm tired now, I'm going to go to sleep. Well, that's, that's excluding, you know, that's a good analogy for the day, excluding the fact that he's got uh, a, a bump on the back of his head, a bump on the front of his head, and his lip is busted, and he has a oh bump on his eye. I, mean, I don't know what you all want me to tell you. Like, this is not fair at all, at all, Yes. that you all are assuming that that's from me. Where else did it come from? If you were, say it's opposite, you were in the suitcase, and you're asking to be let out, would you hope that that person would let you out? Like, you're asking to be let out of a suitcase, should they not let you out? Uh, eventually. I'm guessing. I mean, I don't, I'm blaming it on the wine. So you guys are like assuming that you keep saying we're assuming or we're not we we're haven't assumed anything. But you guys are assuming that that's what I did. No. By what like, this the, is the facts of what happened. We got there, you said he, you pulled him out of a suitcase, you said you went up you went to bed. We're not assuming that. These are the facts that you're telling us. But now we're asking is you like, to oh, I'm tired. Them. Oh, I'm tired. Well, that's what you told me on a sworn recorded statement yesterday. Because when I said, oh, you went upstairs and passed out, you were like, no, I did not pass out. You got attitude with me because you were assumed, you yep. thought I was assuming that you were drunk. So that's, that's an assumption. That was an assumption when I said yeah. you passed out. And guess what? You corrected me. You were very adamant about the fact that both of you had your wedding <laughs> out. What's your favorite word to use? Compass You've used it today too that, to say that you guys are within your within your wits. There's two two empty bottles of wine. No, but but you drink both of them. I think you did. Mm, we didn't. There's receipts for the. They were both factor. purchased yesterday, so I don't know how you didn't, because they weren't there the day before. The so one was. Two Publix receipts from yesterday. Mm -hmm. Only thing purchased on either one was a single bottle of wine, two of them. So we have each bottle of wine that was empty in your garbage can that you purchased yesterday, or he purchased, but you two would have consumed together. Okay, well, I... I mean, there's receipts, so it's not even worth the... Going so back. this is... So I don't know what you guys are... 
I don't I don't know. We were just hoping that we could figure out why you What was the motivation? There was no motivation. Well But we're watching a video that after talking to you, everything was ha laughing and fun. Now we're watching a video where it's not laughing and fun. He's begging for his life, and you are in a very angry voice telling him to fuck off. No. Yes, not that's ac absolutely what it was. It's not an assumption. <laughs> the video is there. We played it for you. So you guys think that I intentionally... You did. It, it, you it got up on the couch it doesn't and walked up the couch. Think. I walked up the stairs and got into bed. That was intentional. There's no way of getting around that. You intentionally did that. Nobody drug you up there. You didn't float up the damn stairs. Okay, well, it's not fair. It's not fair that you guys keep trying to say that that's what I did. I don't know what to tell you. You told us that. You didn't go upstairs? Again, there was a hole in a suitcase. I unzipped it from the hole with one finger. Well, the damn hole didn't do him no good, did it? But he could push it open. <coughs> no, he did couldn't. He? I, the video no. shows him pushing up. If room? he could push it open, why wouldn't he have gotten out himself? Why would he beg you to open it? Okay. I'll tell you he can't breathe. Okay. If I, someone I, can I, do something for themselves, they're going to do it. They don't need assistance unless they need assistance. So, but why would he and start doing it? Because he couldn't, because it was all the way zipped. Okay. Didn't see it. It wasn't. I intentionally didn't do it. That I intentionally did not do. You didn't intentionally do what? Zip it all the way. He nor I, nor I. Well, he's dead as a result of your on each other. He is dead as a result of I your understand action. that. So That's why you this two didn't lay hands on each other. No. <laughs> no. I don't have anything. You're right. He doesn't. Uh, whatever that is, whatever this, whatever it he is. He does. <laughs> see, this is what happens. It's not fair that you guys, just because he has those, automatically blame it on me. Like, well, what about, about when you had you, your injuries and he gets arrested? Is that not fair? Really? Like, it's really? the exact yeah. same thing. He, really? He has injuries. You have injuries. Like, what does that mean? I don't have any injuries. Correct. Because so he and I have you. not been at it with one another. <coughs> so every time that you guys fight, you, you both hit each other? So you should have probably no. gone to jail all those times that he went to jail no. for domestic? Oh, the one time I did. But he completely, completely trashed the police report. Because that's nothing what happened. Because the reason why I got taken in was because my story was different than his. So I'm being per portrayed as like this uh, abuser. We're not saying that he doesn't abuse you. Absolutely. We're not saying. So I'm the one that's being portrayed as the abuser. <laughs> because I have sure. never dealt with anything like this before. I don't know what to do, how to do it, and I always know what to do and how to do it. This I don't know. So I don't know like what's going on or like. <coughs> We are simply trying to find out as well. Again, we got one side of the story. You're telling us we're going with what you're saying, but then we find stuff that negates what you're telling us. And I don't even remember doing that. Okay. You're telling us that we're assuming stuff, but what we're simply doing is telling you what we saw in the video and I repeating understand. what you told us. I understand. Because I don't remember that. Okay. Doesn't mean it didn't happen just because you don't remember it. So is the texting thing something about me? Like what's is the what? Texting? Oh no, I'm texting. No, I. <coughs> you guys crazy. are scaring me. So like I don't know like what to expect. I mean I had questions of things that need to be taken care of. Like I don't. What are I your mean, questions? I I have one last question. I just I mean <laughs> you you realize you're the person that killed him, right? I thought about that. Okay, you left him in a bag when he's begging you, saying, I can't breathe, let me out, and you said, fuck you. And you got up off the couch and went upstairs and left him in that bag. Not intentionally. Again, I would never do that to George. You did. Not it intentionally. Happened. Know that. I don't. Know that. You got up and you went up to bed. Alcohol is a shitty thing. It's alcohol.
alcohol. So Not alcohol again. Is the reason that you killed him? You all. Please sit down. Listen to me. Please sit down. You down. all listen. I did not, not intentionally kill him. So your intention. I don't know what it is I need to do him? or how to do it or what to say or how to say it. But your, but what was your intention? Everyone knows. Him? Everyone knows everything that I've done for George and love him and continuously helped him throughout his life with me and made him a happier, better person. And everybody has their limits. Everyone knows that. Everybody has their limits. So it's like, okay, so while we're in a good place right now, I'm going to snap? Is that what it, while we're in a good place well, right now? Yes. Absolutely. I got you on video screaming, fuck you. This is what it feels like when you're choking me. This is what it feels like. Which when was you're however long ago. Me. <coughs> you said. The video was from last night. Well, clearly. So it wasn't that. Yet. Yeah. There's still feelings towards it. You wouldn't say it if you didn't feel it. But I would never do that. But it happened, and you did. But, you but did that's it. after being playful. But no one's laughing. And having a good day. No one's laughing except you. Every having a good day. Oh, I'm sorry? I would hate to see a bad day. Y'all are making me out to be a person that I'm not. Nor have, or will I ever be. Or are you a different person when you're drunk? People have different personalities after they consume alcohol. It depends. It's like it's, well. Because you're sober now, so yeah. sober you. Nice person. What about you drunk you? Going? Not, it's both of us. It's both of us. And it's, again, it's not fair that you all are assuming that the marks that he has on him are from me. We asked you where they came from. I have no idea. Well, nobody else was there, so nobody else was there. I have no idea. I swear I did not lay a hand on him. Okay. You just zipped him in the bag. Nor he. You just zipped him in the bag. And then you flipped the bag around several times. I didn't do that intentionally. You didn't intentionally flip the bag around? No. Why would I do that? Well, you Good told question. Me you did. did. When and he was upside was down. down. Right. Well, you had to put them upside get, down. You can't get in a suitcase upside down yeah. because the... Oh, my God. Well, you put the See, stuff and that's in where his body was? That's the unfortunate thing, too, is nobody else is there. <laughs> that's well, the unfortunate thing. We have a video thing. showing the, the suitcase in several different positions. So uh, it shows, one, like she just said, it had to been on its back with the lid open for him to get in there for you to zip it up. Then it shows it on the other side with him in it, so you had to flip it to there. Then there's another video where it's on his back again, so you had to flip it to I'm there. leaving it like this, please. I'm leaving it like this. I did not intentionally do this. No malicious content or effort was towards this. No malicious. I would I'm say this does that help you sleep, but you're not sleeping, so. I mean, uh, Last night, the, the, I maybe got an hour. Yeah. Right. In your voice, you can hear the maliciousness. The fuck you is very, very... You don't talk to obvious. people like that. That's not like a common, like, nope. hey, Scott, fuck you. Thank that's you. not That's not common. It's not something people do. And no one that sees that is going to think that. Okay. So we were trying to give you an opportunity, and, and it is what it is. There's no maliciousness towards okay. that. I would probably be telling myself that my intent, that my intent was not for that <coughs> to happen. But you went upstairs and went to bed. Or maybe you passed out, I don't know. Whatever. Waiting for him. And the whole time frame thing, it's like, it's regardless, it's, that's not really fair. Regardless, that. waiting for him, you, it's not like you, you walked up the stairs. No one can, you can't fly up the stairs. No one can take you up their stairs. Okay. You go up the stairs, you lay in the know. bed. And you wait for him. Who cares if it's five minutes? Who cares if it's 30 freaking seconds? He's begging for his life. He's begging to get out. You go upstairs. You leave him. It home. doesn't matter. So it could it, get the time frame out of your mind. It this whole matter. thing, this, look, it doesn't matter. It, it, it doesn't matter because <coughs> there's this. So it doesn't matter anything what it is I say. So it, it makes no difference whatsoever. It's just you keep you're lying and like you're not you're now changing Who's your story. Lying about what? You're now 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 you're drunk. Okay. Oh, I never said that I was drunk. Exactly, but you did here today. 
That's okay. You said earlier. Everything's everything recorded. Alcohol. You blamed, on, you blamed it on the alcohol. You blamed it on the alcohol. Alcohol does a lot to people. Mm -hmm. Yes, but I never said I was drunk. Okay. <laughs> you did. So you did okay. this. No, you did this sober. You knowingly left them down there sober. Uh, I have already told both of you also that we were both drinking. Right. Okay. But you want to admit that you were drunk? Is that? I'm okay? telling you all both. This has changed my life. So I will take this. I don't know. Yeah, that's a true statement. Absolutely. But you're trying to dance around the fact that <laughs> so, you. So, but did what are you? Okay, just, just. You left them in there. You're trying to oh dance around the fact this that is, you left them in there. This is not. I, this you didn't leave them in not, there. It's not cool. Like this is not cool. It's not cool. That it. He's dead. It's but not you cool. think that I did that intentionally? You think. But I did that intentionally. You intentionally left them in there and left the room. You went upstairs to a different room. You intentionally did that. You you did. Yes. Because I'm thinking he's going to get out. Okay, and he didn't. Obviously not. When somebody's begging for their begging, saying I but can't. But when you breathe. say that though, but you have to. <coughs> you don't let me out. I can't. Y'all don't know George though. Like that, that. Again, I thought it was the boy crying wolf. So it's just like, what? Oh, so if your son was in there and said, I can't breathe, are you going to open it, or is is he nine, so he's not, you know, really? It's not a big deal. I'm not a bad question. Well, you right. said you would never put your son in a suitcase. <laughs> you would only put George in there. No, George got in a suitcase. And you well. zipped it up. Not all the way and not intentionally to leave him there. But that's what happened. You keep going away from it. I don't know. That's, I don't, that's I don't exactly know what happened. You went I, up I, the bed so and woke up I, the next Are bed. you all trying to have me admit that? Like, are you trying to have me admit that? Because I will never admit it because it's not true. It's not true. I'm basically stating as a fact because that's what happened. Okay. You videotaped him asking to be let out. You go upstairs. So what, guys? So what? Like, just, I don't know what you want me to say other than it was not out of maliciousness or intentional. I don't know what or how I can say it. I love George. Love him. To this day still. Love him. Love makes you do crazy things. It doesn't do, it's not one of those things where it's like, oh gosh, you know what, I've done enough for you at this point. I never gave up on him. Okay. Why I'm here today, I'm still not giving up on him. I would do anything for him. Well, you gave up checking up on him. So. I wouldn't let him out of a suitcase. Oh, gosh. Okay. I, We're simply just trying to go through. I mean, again, <laughs> you gave us a completely different story that you churched up to. This was such a, a laughing matter. It was. It was, was fun. Not by that all video. day, all Not day. By that video, that all day. Wasn't. Anybody looking at it doesn't. I don't think anybody so, would look at that video and go, "George is having fun right now." So why is it you all think that I, I, y'all don't know me? You don't know me. Nope. Would do something like that, especially having a nine-year-old son. I don't know like what why? Nine-year-old nine son would be. Like why are you so? Why are you so like caught on what we think? Yeah. When. Because you should be more like concerned you, about what you've told us. It's because and like you guys are like trying the things that the video shows that are opposite of what you told us, and then what you've now like told what us is opposite? Today. Well, you said that it was funny, and you're yeah. the only one. Laughing. We were playing before that. Okay. Um, but then it stops. Yeah. It obviously stops being fun. Well, I. Because you're screaming at him. He's not going to get out. I'm screaming at him. Mm. Sounds like screaming to me. I don't know what you all want to, me to tell you. In no way, shape, or form was this intentional. At all. Ever. Okay. Are you still going to allow us to do your fingernails? Go for it. Go for it. Okay, cool. All right, I'm going to get that set up. Do you need any more water? No, but when you come back, can I ask about this? Mm. Yeah. So what? I just don't understand. 
So it was I don't understand how your story changes so much. So the how fact is that it changing? Please help me explain. Understand. Well, you, you went on about how this was such a playful thing, and you guys were laughing, and it probably was for a few minutes. But then it obviously changes. The whole demeanor of this whole situation completely changes. It's not the funny, laughing matter. He's not laughing at all. I didn't think he was being serious. You absolutely sound serious. I didn't think so. Him. Like just. You don't think your voice? You sounded it's, serious. It's okay. I. I don't know what you want me to tell you. It was a great day. Okay. It didn't end well. Obviously. I was going to say that's. Uh, I mean. I can't explain to you. I can't explain to you. How horrific it was. Okay. To find him. Horrific. Because I don't remember taking those videos. Okay. How horrific. Yeah. I'm thinking he's in the bathroom. I'm thinking he's downstairs in the laptop. I can't find him. Okay. So what? So what's <laughs> going to happen? Like, Here's what gets me though, is you don't remember taking videos, you don't know where he is, you don't remember him being in the in the suitcase, and you're still telling me that you had your wits about you. I How does somebody have true. their wits about him when? See, that's the they thing too. But you can clearly tell, you can clearly tell that I had been drinking some. Yeah. You can clearly tell. I had several people that came up to me in that apartment complex said that you were drunk on a daily basis. Oh and you my were gosh! At him right. Regularly. Right. Um, really. Right. Talk to the property really? manager. Talk to the property manager. Okay. Because it's not. These are your neighbors, the one that live next to you. Your property manager does not live next to you. They see you every day. How many? Oh you had gosh. two neighbors you went to and asked to go see, to the restroom. See, that is not said, fair. No, hold on. You had two different neighbors that lived directly next to you. You asked to use a restroom and they told you no and turned you away. You had to go oh. across the way to somebody oh. else. No. Okay. Kim and Eli. Eli or Kim is not a nice person. Okay. She's just automatically not nice. Even right. after me and Lucas went over there and introduced herself, she's just you, not a nice person. Then why would you think she would let you use a restroom? Because Eli was in there. Eli comes over and talks to us sometimes, which I think pisses Kim off because okay. he comes over and talks to us. The two of them, they're like super standoffish all the time. My neighbors down the street, down the way, their toilet was broken. They had stuff in the bathroom. So then they're like, go over there and try over there. There's two bathrooms. I would let somebody go upstairs and use my my personal bathroom. That's what the downstairs one is for. If it's somebody you like, would you? Or somebody you knew? They're in the process of doing all this stuff in the kitchen. And they're stuck in the bathroom and the toilet doesn't work. Just walk across the way. No problem. Mm -hmm. And of course they let me in. Them and them, they're together. They're part, they're family. And nonetheless, if you really want to know, and I hope it doesn't get them in trouble, but he is over here illegally. So he's trying to work on getting his green card. What does that got to do with you using the restroom? They didn't want to be involved. No, no, no. I was asking last night because, you know, I mean, we had several different people in the neighborhood that come up saying Eli and Kim. drunk on a regular basis. Eli and Kim. Eli and Kim. Okay. Did you ask Eli. Minnie next door? Those are the ones next door that she asked to use the restroom, yeah, and they said no. No, she said no. Okay. And like I said, she's not you a nice person. They're coming. What are okay. your questions? Yep. I can help you out. Who's coming? To do the fingernails? Yeah. You said that we could. And you don't have to allow us to do it, just so you know. So don't think that it's I don't have a problem. Yet. Okay. So make sure. <coughs> so am I getting my phone back? No. Not today. Um, what about Lucas's laptop? No. Not today. Not today. What does that mean? We're still going through everything. Oh, that's fine. You're the one just telling us there's videos that we need to see on it, so we that's need to fine. do our due diligence that we go through everything. See, and that backfires on me now, too, because now you all think that I had even more, in quotes, intent to do what I did then, which was not intentional. Okay. What's that? In that. Is that correct? She's asking about your tag in your hand. No, but I'm asking if that's correct. No, I'm not going to read anything that sense. you're saying. I'm not that you're. No. So his probation <coughs> officer. Mm -hmm. Do you all inform her, or do I need to call her? We don't need to. We don't have to inform her. So if you would like to call her, you can. Are you saying because he's still on probation? 
no, but it, because of the nice lady that she is and all that she's done for him, I thought it. I didn't know how it was. Legally, we just have to tell his parents, and we don't go telling. We don't. Else. I didn't even know who his probation officer was, so no, I wouldn't go tell. So the same thing for classes. I need to do that too. Um, classes. The you need to do what? Substance abuse class and his <coughs> battery no, intervention. Yeah, we don't have to to ask. So, other than this, so initially, what was the cause of death? She is still pending because she wants to hold the body for an additional day to see if more of those bruises turn into something bigger. Um, and uh, she's doing some other tests that she's got to do. So, she's pending it for now. So, and that couldn't have been because <coughs> of him being in the suitcase. Or that's y'all are saying that I physically what, did it. That's what she's determining. So the, the ones on the head, I, I asked her, could that have been from the suitcase? And she said she didn't think so. I didn't touch him, nor did he touch me. Okay. I'm leaving it at that. Okay. Um, so I don't know if you all know how to do this because I so that's what I was gonna get ready to ask you. So are you all updating his parents today or when you get to final whatever's? What does it matter why what we tell his parents, what do you mean? Because I, I we're gonna have we're gonna talk to with them. Yeah. Okay, I, mean, I have to But it's gonna like, come down to me. What do you mean? Like, so it's being put on me. Who said that? But I'm not, so what is it you would tell them? <laughs> We're going to give them an update, just like we gave you an update on their autopsy. Okay, so it's whatever bruise, well, scratch, the thing. and here's the thing. whatever on the head. We, we had to deliver news to them last night that their son was dead. There's not a whole lot of conversation that goes on after that. It's not a very easy thing Was it to yesterday do. or Sunday? Sunday. Today's Tuesday, right? Did we not meet you yesterday? We met you yesterday. Yeah. I'm just asking. Right? Did we not meet yesterday? It's a valid question. Uh, really? Yes, on Monday. Okay. 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 Got it. Perfect. So I don't know if I ask you guys or how I find this out other than talking to his parents, which it's not going to happen. Yeah, probably a terrible idea. What, how do you guys suggest me finding out about funeral? Yeah. That's not even something that's been probably talked about between the family. That's not something we ask. We have no way of... I know. didn't know. That's why I'm asking. Yeah. So it's going to be up to them to make their arrangements of what they want to do. Like She just told you this quick, just being told last night. I'll pretty much be willing to wager that they have not even considered what they're going to do. <laughs> My body can't even be released. No, so I've been there with parents, grandparents, aunt and uncles. Um, so I don't know if I have the right to or not, but like I was going to call his former employees, whom he really cared for, and let them know. You can call whoever you want. I just don't want to do something that I'm not supposed to. Um, how do I go about getting his um, wedding ring, engagement ring? It's at the medical examiner's office. It'll come to us eventually. and no, then it'll, it'll be released to, oh, to, to the next with Kim. Yeah, okay. I bought it for him. Okay. That is a civil issue. It was on his finger. It goes to them. They're the ones that are going <coughs> to release it. We don't have any say in that. So I won't get that back. And Jorge's family will never get Jorge back. So for all of this, like, how do I find out what's what, how many, like, what's been found? What do you mean? Uh, pillow with stain, swabs of stain from pillow, suitcase. That will all be sent off to FDLE, FDLE Florida Department of Law Enforcement. Yeah. They do their testing. So, and then, like, whatever white can with blood and necktie with blood was from the suitcase. Correct. Why would you guys, oh, 
you'll see it in there, the baseball bat. And the seats. And this is just his phone, my phone, and then the laptop. Yeah, when anything can be released, we will release it, but we are very early in this investigation. Mm -hmm. and it's not so, an overnight process, unfortunately. So, what's next? They're going to come and swab your fingers. No, I'm talking about, like, in the long run. Like, what do I need to, like, do I need to be doing something, or, like, I can't tell you like, no. what to do. I mean, like, so, like, for... Like, I don't understand, like, I don't know if you guys are just going to, like, because it makes it sound like to me, like, I'm being accused of something that was not intentional. I'm being accused of it. Mm -hmm. And a handful of other things that I'm being accused of. Okay. So I don't want to be at home with, and you guys show up. Okay. I understand that. So. It's, we're still investigating. The word. I don't know what you want me to tell you. So, is there going to be concrete whatever it is, and then it's like, okay, this is what it is, kind of thing? Or, like, because I've done the whole court thing. I've done the whole <coughs> attorney thing. I've done whatever. So, if I'm not admitting anything about being intentional and I killed George. Okay. That's not the situation, but it's trying to depend on me. Okay. That was not my intent. But it's trying to depend on me. So however or whatever it is I need to do in order for that to be proven, then I need to do so, which is why I'm trying to get my ducks in a row. Okay. So that's why I'm asking what the next step is other than me getting my nails swabbed. I mean, you want me to tell you how to not be accused of a crime? Is that what you're asking? Like, I don't know what you I'm want. I'm trying to prepare myself for whatever may need to be done so I can, I, I guess, stick up for myself. I mean, I think you're doing just fine. You came, you talked. I just don't want you guys to, again, <laughs> show up and live in the house. Well, we did tell you yesterday that we don't want to do anything around your son, mm -hmm. hence why you came to us. So I don't know why you think that's going to change. That and or me not just show up back home. <coughs> I'm sorry, what? That or what? Me just not show up back home. That's what, oh, he's so happy that I'm staying over the house with Brian. Like, so happy. And I'm not going back to the house, to my house, for however long I can stay over here because of whatever to blow over. Mm-hmm. And again, if you don't mind me asking, so for whatever it is you all are claiming from the videos, which, yeah, it's, is that what you're going to tell them, like his parents? It's like, oh, yeah, and by the way, she did. Did what? I mean, what would you tell them? I don't think it really matters what we're going to tell the parents. Oh, yeah, it is. It's steel to the fire. Well, we can't hide things, and I don't know. I, I'm not saying that we're going to go and tell them every single thing we have, um, but, again, this is the Orange County Sheriff's Office as public record, so eventually, like, this all will come out. Mm -hmm. So, it like, I'm not... You're making it sound like we're going to tell them something, so then your life is in danger, and I don't like that accusation. No. So... Let's just nip that in the butt right now. Well, that's what's going to happen. I cannot. But I we cannot can't, choose, what are we going to tell them? But we can't even. But so <coughs> technically, there's no concrete report yet, even. Right. So. So it's. Um, you want me to like tell you exactly what I'm going to tell them? I don't know what I'm going to tell did. them. I don't know what I'm going to tell them. Let's just leave it at that. Just like you don't know why you went upstairs. I don't know what I'm going to tell them. So. Can, that are dealing with can, I do, can I call <laughs> you the way that I did last time? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my phone is an open line. Missy yeah. should be here. I don't want to take I get it. Look, I get it. That looks really bad. Mm -hmm. So that's what scares me. Like, what do I need to plan on? 
Like, what do I need to plan on? I promise you, on my son's life, it was not intentional. I promise you, on life, it was not intentional. <clears throat> I don't know you. I can't say I know anything about you. I don't know what is what would be a true statement, what would not. I mean, you're promising on your son's life, that's fine. That's how much it means. Sorry. That's how much it, look, too. that's how much it means. Okay. I hope you take that to heart. Please. It's documented that you said that, yeah. I get it. Do you have any idea when I can get my phone back? No telling. What did you say? I just said no telling. I mean, it's, our digital forensics unit has uh, got a lot of cases on their plate. I mean, well, and that's not technically my more. laptop. It's his laptop. Okay. But he plays. You'll see all the games that he has on there. As soon as we can get that back to, we will. As soon as we can release your phone, we will. But it doesn't. We have no way of being able to tell you because we don't have control over their caseload and how they, they arrange what they do. So I don't know. And at this point, I think, honestly, with everything else that's going on, that should probably be, be at the bottom of your list of worries. It's not a big deal. There's nothing on the laptop anyway. So you will keep me posted, like updated. Mm -hmm. That's my thing is I'm trying to figure out what I need to do in the meantime. I don't know, I can't, like, I don't know what to tell you, though. Like, what am I, what? But you all have more information than I do where it's, <coughs> yeah, you might want to, or yeah, you might want to. I'm sorry, what? Like, we have more information on what? Like, we told you everything that we have. You know everything that we know. And most of it we got from you. But that, like I was telling her, like, yeah, that's bad. Like, which I swore in my son's life was unintentional. So that's why I'm trying to figure out what I need to do for myself okay. going forward with this. Nonetheless, with his family. And are you all just showing up with Lucas in the house? Well, I think we've already both told you that we would be mindful of any situations. So you guys, I guess you're going to call me tomorrow? Or do we need to come back down here? I'll chat with you next time. I have no idea when I'm going to call you next. Uh, isn't the report come out tomorrow? No. What report? I'm just saying a report is generated through us, and the sheriff's office is a public entity. So if someone were to come request something, then... No, I'm talking about um, his autopsy. She's waiting and doing more follow-up, but... She's looking at him again <coughs> Yeah. But she won't be finished with him because she's, she's pending for other stuff. So after this, what? I'm done? For now? How long does this stuff take to get back? The Most of that you, you won't get back. The swabs and stuff will, will stay. They all know about it? I hope you all can really both truly understand that that was not my intent. I miss him a lot. I mean, no I, it, but my question has remained the same. What do you expect to happen to somebody when you leave them in a position like that. <coughs> yes, but you have to understand too. I know. No, no, just what would you expect to happen to somebody when you leave them in a position? I have no idea because I've never done it before. Why have you never done it before? Why would I? Exactly. Why, Why would I do you? it before? Why did you do it now? I, I clearly have said why. I, why? 
No, you don't know why. You, you just know that it's not intentional, yeah. but you don't know why. But that's okay. Really? I'm not trying to force you to say something that you don't know. It's fading and penning. The fact that you guys would assume that I'm that kind of person. We're not assuming anything. We're going by the facts. It happens. Like you said, you don't know me. And it's so for me to have to live with getting him out and doing what I did is punishment enough. I think that's why I haven't slept. Because that's all I see. So that right there says something. Not my intention. Nonetheless, I have to live without him now. Yeah. Nonetheless. Yeah. Punishment in itself. Yeah. Definitely uh, a tragic situation. <laughs> I am through with alcohol. And it's an unfortunate that stupid things like this happen. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Absolutely. Nonetheless, I have to live without him now. Are you trying to make it worse? Sorry, what? Are you trying to make it worse? Make what worse? <laughs> How I feel? Just making, just CSI, that was there yesterday. February 26, 2020, the time was approximately 1205 hours. This is in reference to Orange County case number 20 017904. I'm currently located at Tealwood Park Apartments, 4704 Lucier, Lucier sure. yes. for Winter Park, Florida, 32792. I am here with my partner, Detective Scott Long, with the Orange County Sheriff's Office, and can you state your name? Melissa yeah. May Sexton. You are the property manager of this complex, correct? Yes. Okay. And <clears throat> um, we had Kim in here asking about the tenants. Um, Sarah Boone and George Torres, mm -hmm. and they have lived here, um, you gave us a date of February 9th, 2018? Correct. Okay. Um, you had told us that <clears throat> Sarah would confine in you about her and George's relationship. Can you tell us further what she would tell you? Yes. Um, Sarah, when, shortly after she moved in um, with George, she came to the office um, to talk to me. We noticed bruises and stuff on her, and um, she asked me if she could talk to me privately and asked how I could, how she would be able to get George off of the lease. Is there any way to do that? Uh, which prompted, you know, deeper conversation. Uh, she proceeded to let me know and she was showing me a lot of bruises and marks. Uh, there were handprints, scratches. She even at one point had to go to the hospital through multiple conversations that we had had. It steadily progressed, you know. Um, she had a very large gash at one point in her shin. She had to go to the hospital and get that taken care of. I'm not exactly sure what it was from, um, but I think it had to do when they got into a fight outside. 
and something got broke. I think it was one of their wine glasses or something. But, um, you know, she came to me at one point asking, you know, what do I do? Like, how can I get rid of him? You know, I don't, I've never dealt with this type of situation. Um, I just counsel her as she continued to come to me and explain to her that, you know, she had to make a decision if she was going to stay with him or not be with him. If she, you know, was going to try to work things out, they needed to seek out therapy, help, something. <laughs> um, it wasn't too long after that last conversation that I found out the police had came and George was arrested. Uh, I don't remember about how long it was in between time, but there was another incident after that where they both got arrested, all for domestic. Um, the complaints are had throughout their whole term, roughly about 20 to 30 noise complaints, fighting, arguing, uh, banging on doors, uh, loud music. It was just always something pertaining to their lifestyle. I do know that I have seen both of them intoxicated as early as 9 o'clock in the morning, and I mean staggering, falling down, intoxicated, <laughs> both of them. Um, and there was a noise complaint that I had received about some fighting one day that was going on and Sarah was actually wandering around the property very drunk, um, barefoot, not properly dressed, <laughs> I'll say it like that, um, uh, sitting on the side of her building over by the retention pond. Um, when I was told about that is when I approached Sarah, sat down, talked to her. I even had also separately went and talked to George and told them that once they had served up, I needed to have a meeting with them. Um, the following business day, because this was a Friday, I do remember that, um, I went to see them Monday, roughly about 12 o'clock. They were sober. <laughs> they apparently had had some epiphany, you know, that they were going to straighten themselves up and start acting right. And they did very good for, well, basically until now. I haven't gotten any complaints since May of the past year, mm -hmm. you know. But up until that point, the complaints were consistent, monthly, always. Um, did, would you ever speak with George by himself? Like, did he ever confide in you about their relationship? The one time um, where, like I was just saying, that um, when I talked to her, she wanted me, she asked me to go talk to him. Um, but she's like, please go put the fear of God in him. Fear of God in him. <laughs> I'm a very stern property manager. You know, I don't tolerate a whole lot of... <laughs> right. And she knew that, and um, she seemed scared of him at the time. So I said, sure, no problem, just stay here. I will go talk to him. I went over, sat down, talked to George. I talked to him for about 30 minutes all together. And, you know, George had explained to me that she was actually the aggressive one. And the reason she ended up with Marks is... Uh, in my, I'll say my perception of what he was trying to is it, explain is that she's very hands-on, in the face, you know, dramatized and, and talking and explaining or, or fussing or whatever they might have been doing. Right. And I, I believe that because Jean, my assistant, doesn't even like to deal with her or avoid her like the plague <laughs> because she was always drunk and she's very hands-on. Uh, there was one day, as a matter of fact, it was that same day that I talked to George by himself. She kept grabbing me by the arms to the point that I told her, I said, touch me one more time, we're going to have a problem. You know, I'm right. either going to contact the police or whatever we need to do, but you can't keep grabbing on it. I had asked her several times to quit touching me. <laughs> and because of that, she would do the same thing to Jean, and Jean didn't like it. Right. So, um, you know, he, that's what he was explaining to me, is she was always the touchy one, the aggressive one, you know, not that she was hitting him, but she would be like in his face or she might, you know, push him or, you know, little things like that. And she would block him from coming out of the room or whatnot and he would take her and move her. You right. know what I mean? And just, that's the way he had explained it to me. Right. She has told me, even literally to Monday, I have been told by her several occasions that he has drug her around by the hair of her head. Mm -hmm. um, I've been, you know, told about by neighbors. Um, I'm sorry I don't have it anymore, but at one point a tenant actually sent us a video clip via text of them two fighting and beating on each other out in the backyard. Um, there was another complaint incident about a ladder being propped up to the wall that George was using to climb over the wall <laughs> to try to get back into his apartment, sneaking in and out. There was another night, sorry, I forgot to tell you about this too. Uh, I got a call for one of my vacants in building 24, uh, 4724, which is not their building. 
there was a tent set up on my vacant back porch. <laughs> and it's apparently where George was sleeping for a couple of nights because she had him out of the house. I have another tenant here who may or may not speak to you, I'm not sure. Um, for that reason, I don't want to give you her name just yet without sure. talking to her, but yeah. George and her fighting that the, a different evening had actually wandered into her home. He was so drunk and had no idea where he was, and when she came home, luckily her kids were not there because she's a single mother with three kids. George was actually upstairs in her house hollering, looking for Sarah, thinking he was in his apartment. <laughs> So we've had some incidences with them in that aspect, but nothing has ever been um, so bad that, you know, I didn't feel that we could resolve the problem. And like I said, we haven't had any issues since May of last year. No complaints, no nothing until this. So we thought, hey, they're doing great. You know, maybe they fixed their problems. <laughs> I mean. Has she come to you since May of any, of any issues? No, okay. not one time. But then, again, you did... It basically, they were told you're going to be evicted if there are. Yes. So it's kind of like tighten at, up or get out. Yeah. It was okay. put up or shut up. I was over it. Yeah. If it continued, I was putting them out. Right. So. Did you ever see any marks on George? No. Not one. <laughs> not one. <laughs> like George was a little bit darker skin. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure Would you see George as often as you saw Sarah? It sounds no. like Sarah came to you a lot more yes. than yeah. us. We would always see Sarah as far as the only time I ever really saw George is the time when we actually got George to sign off the lease. Right. Um, and he came to me and said, you know, I can't get back in the house. <laughs> She's got all my personal paperwork because would you please have a conversation with her so that I can get my personal paperwork back from her? He goes, but do you have a bolt cutter, a set of bolt cutters for my bicycle that's out back? And I said, what's it chained to, you know? And he said, it's actually chained to your AC unit. I said, yeah, no problem. I'll cut the lock. I'll cut the lock for anything attached to my AC unit. It's not supposed to be attached to that. Oh, right. So I went out back and actually cut the lock on both of the bike locks because Sarah would not answer the door for me because she knew George was there. Okay. Um, once George was gone, she had actually, because Sarah had my cell phone number, um, being that I had already went through and just got out of a very abusive relationship, Sarah knew that because, you know, I confided in her and explained that um, she did feel a lot more comfortable in coming to me. So she, I told her if she ever needed someone, you know, or it was an emergency, she could reach out to me and I would do my, what I could to help her. You know, I felt bad for her. But after a while, when she just kept taking him back and taking him back, I just told her, I said, you know, you're just going to have to call the authorities. You're on your own. <laughs> it's obvious you don't want it to stop. You know, he's not doing anything to get help according to you. And you just keep dealing with it, I mean, you know, there comes a point where it's just stupidity, you know, but that's the run-ins and instances that I've had with him. I've never seen a mark on George, and he's never told me that she's hit her at all, okay. but she has told me in front of him that he has hit her and things that he's done, and he was not denying it. He never denied it. <laughs> so... George and her both expressed to me on many occasions that they knew they needed help. You know, but I'm guessing due to their financial situation, not having any work, probably why they didn't do much. Right. Yeah. When you saw them together, who looked to be like a more dominant? I mean, did one seem to be more dominant over the other? George. George was very confident. Um, you know, he wasn't arrogant or anything. He, he, for the most part, stayed to himself. Like I said, there are a couple people here that he knew, <laughs> you know, from, I will say, another life <laughs> from Philadelphia. And, um, you know, George was the one I always seen driving the vehicle. George is the one I always seen playing with the child. Um, you know, never saw Sarah outside playing with her kid, ever. Um, as a matter of fact, most of the time, you would find him riding around the property on his bike unattended. No parents outside, no nothing. Um, because I had actually had a conversation with Sarah about that. <laughs> and I said, you know, the, the kid was a great kid, don't get me wrong, he never did anything to get in trouble, but it was more my concern for his well-being. You know, when he's all the way riding over here and around some of these corners with the dumpsters, these people don't see nobody. And they sure ain't going to see no kid on that. So I had a conversation with her about that, and we haven't had any really problems. We actually had secluded him to stay in front of the building, you know, which was fine. I just didn't want him on the way to get <laughs> But yeah, you didn't see Sarah out at all. The only time I ever saw her, especially after the incident that took place with Emmett and his ex-girlfriend, um, 
it was more like a confrontation that took place in the office. She made an accusation on Emmett saying that he was trying to forcefully, like, I don't want to say rape, but he was trying to push himself on her. On Sarah? Uh, on Sarah. Some, so a, she made that claim. Some tenant? A different yeah, tenant. another tenant that knew George from Philly. Um, and they confronted the two of them. Um, you know, I will say Sarah hold her gro hold, held her ground when the girl confronted her and asked her and said, you know, don't lie to my face. And Sarah said, yeah, he did. You know, so I was surprised because she knew that girl was <laughs> but <laughs> and she's larger than me. So, you know, I was like, oh my gosh, okay, well, maybe there's some truth to that. But it ended up, you know, just fizzling out. It was no big deal. After that situation took place, you really didn't see Sarah too much. She was pretty intimidated. Um, those two folks are actually a pretty large family that I have living here on site that actually took up four units at that time. So the whole fam family lived here. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it's a little intimidating. <laughs> so after that, we really didn't see a whole lot of her. But before that, they would hang out periodically. You said the other two families? No, they just knew each other from the back in the day. Oh, yeah, the couple that, uh, the kids uh, did. The kids. Yes, did that. that's what initially prompted it, and then that accusation was made yeah. during that same time. Okay. So, and when it comes to the kids on my property, I stay very involved with them. Yeah. We have some issues with our bus routes and all kinds of stuff, and. Uh, we had some kid vandalism being done, broken glass bottles. They were pulling glass bottles out of the trash, breaking them, thought it was fun. Um, and one kid told on another, and the parents got involved. It became a little bit of an issue, so I had to get in the middle to squash it, you know. I didn't want anybody fighting on the property or kids getting hurt for that matter. But that's it. Is there anything else that you think is important for us to know about Sarah or George that we haven't discussed? Uh, I mean, no, I don't. Nothing really, they, her nickname is Drunky the Bear. I mean, you know, literally. <laughs> we know they drank from sunup to sundown. Would she ever, I know she confined in you a lot. Would she ever admit that she was an alcoholic to you? Yeah. She would? Yes. Okay. I wish I still had my text messages. I sent it to me on text many occasions. I know we drink too much and blah, blah, blah. You know, she told me that George one time had it enrolled in AA and was getting help. Now, brother, that was any truth. I have no idea. Um, a lot of stuff like that I just take with a grain of salt. Right. <laughs> you know, I think she was more concerned about the image that was being put in my head for them, and I think she was just trying right, to paint trying a prettier to. picture. Because right. I will say, <laughs> it was like a week later, she was gone. <laughs> And when we go, you know, inspecting the property and walking around different projects, we do a lot of uh, pressure washing throughout the year. We do that a couple of times. You know, I ride around the back sides of the buildings, checking everything out. We've got a property drainage system back there. You always knew because you'd ride back there and you'd hear, ah, 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 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, they're drunk, falling down, cutting up. <laughs> My God, I can't imagine being drunk like that all the time. Jeez. Okay. Can you raise your right hand for me? Yes. I promise and swear everything we've talked about has been true and accurate to the best of your knowledge. Yes. Sends our recording 12 to 20 hours. This is the craziest thing I've ever like experienced in my life. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> yeah. All right. This is in reference to case number 20-17904. The date is February 27th, 2020. The time is approximately 1749 hours. I am located at the Tealwood apartment complex. I am talking to the resident, one of the residents. Sir, can you give me your name, please? Uh, it's Vincent. And what's your date of birth, sir? Uh, 1999. All right, is it okay if I call you Vincent? Of course. Okay, well, like I said, my name's Scott Lowen. I'm the homicide detective with the sheriff's office. Please just call me Scott. Okay. Um, obviously, we're out here today uh, talking about an incident that occurred with the residents of apartment three, which are your direct next door neighbors, correct? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, I just want to kind of preface and start out with a, a couple of different uh, basic questions. How long have you been living in apartment? Uh, the end of January was a, was a year. So a little about a year and a month. Year and a month. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, um, your apartment, from what I can see, is a single-story apartment. It's not a townhome like your neighbors, correct? Yes, no, it's a single-story, yeah. Okay. Um, is your 
bedroom the one in the back next to the back wall yeah it's the one where you can like see the kick out from the back patio of their okay. apartment there yeah so that's what i was wondering so your bedroom is right next to their back patio yes yes so you get to hear everything that's going on in the back patio or is it on the back airtight? patio and the living room because their living room at the bottom of their stairs yeah. is right next to where my my head lays on my bed okay so literally and it was like an every night thing you know with the like the beat and it wasn't even just him on her it was like they were going at it like at each other you know oh, and it was really? like it was just really bad and really loud like every what, night was it, you, know? you mean verbally no like physically yeah it was like so what were you hearing it was like i don't like you know it was never like like i couldn't physically hear like hitting you know what i mean okay. but like i heard like thrown up getting pe thrown up against the wall you know okay. or like i've heard thrown down the stairs a few times like it's just oh, like wow. and it's like that's a very clear sound you know what i mean like yeah. you hear somebody up here go, get down here very fast you know yeah. and it's like you just kind of know what happened okay. and it's like and the reason that like i've never said anything about it or i was just kind of minding my own business is because i literally found out that this happened so often and they were known by the local police here or whatever that all the neighbors just stopped calling okay. because the police were tired of it pretty much like right. not like tired of it you know but no, it was I know like what you mean, though. it was just like yeah. it was an every week thing you know once or twice a week and so it was like i don't know and then the there was the one night i was standing on my back patio i was smoking a cigarette and then she just randomly walked over and like was started talking to me about how she like knows i can hear stuff and then she was just like if you ever hear anything like get really loud or whatever like just you know keep quiet about it like pretty much like she was like respectfully like my try to mind your own like keep it to yourself you know okay. i was like okay i was like whatever yeah. you know you do you i'll do me pretty much that yeah, you know i, I go you. to school down here you know i was yeah. i'm from new jersey I, I don't live in florida you know i'm just here to do my school and yeah. live my life you know and yeah. it's like so for her to tell me like don't really pay attention i was just like all right you know whatever. how long ago was that you think few months probably like three and a half four months ago probably you know she was just like telling me like just keep quiet like if you hear it pretty much and i was just like whatever okay did you ever hang out with them on the back porch yeah that? yeah did you guys you hung out with them? yeah i have and it was like not for like long periods of time but like you know i'm a musician so like okay. they heard me playing guitar the one day so they asked me to come over and tune their son's guitar so i oh. tuned their son's guitar for them and everything and i was playing on the back porch because you know i write songs so they were like asking me if they can hear it and everything and i was like yeah sure yeah. i had nothing going on so i went back there and i was hanging out with them and i was playing some guitar and i did it a few times and then i was actually in their apartment a few times like he was an artist okay. and he was showing me like a bunch of his paintings and like artist drawings and stuff like that so yeah. i mean like they were cool people yeah but like there was there was something going on, especially with with sarah you know what i mean like, there's uh, something going on with her like you couldn't tell you know it was like yeah. she wasn't like, all there you know okay now uh as far as like their their drinking habits did you notice would they were, were they heavy drinkers oh, did my. they drink at all or? God. Whoa. <laughs> that's like i mean like it, it was so bad it wasn't all the time but it was like there was some mornings where i'd be leaving for school at 9 a.m and i'd like see him like stumbling off the the sidewalk right here you know okay. like that drunk at nine o'clock in the morning okay. or like even earlier sometimes it's like it's ridiculous sometimes but i do have to say whenever her son was around they were that was the only like the times where i never saw them ever drinking that was the yeah. only time you know what i mean but like other than that it was like they were drunk all the time drunk all the time, the time. Okay. yes okay and it was very visible you know what i mean yeah. they were like like functioning alcoholics you know what i mean it was like yeah. they had to drink to get through the day okay. type thing you yeah know? did you do you know their drink of choice no i i'm not sure when you were hanging out with them you never no because like when i was hanging out on the back porch they weren't drinking we were just honestly okay. sitting there and i we were smoking cigarettes and i was just yeah. like playing some guitar but yeah they weren't actually drinking that day okay. and uh even when i was in the house i didn't see anything yeah. that was like a bottle or anything that they would drink yeah okay um how old are you 20 20 yes i'm i'm gonna uh make an assumption here okay <laughs> and i don't mean no disrespect by it yeah, but yeah, i'm yeah. assuming as, as a 20 year old yes. you have smelled what marijuana smells like when it's burning of, of, course, of course now have you ever noticed that coming from their place 
Not, no, no. They're not. They're not smokers. Definitely, or definitely not. They're. Okay. I don't believe they were. They, they're like towards like any type of drug. You know what I mean? Like, Good. How are you? I, I don't think they like were on any type of drug. Okay. You know what I mean? I, it was just like very visible, like they were alcohol. Drinkers. You know, because like I've, I've had like uncles and stuff that have dealt with it so like i yeah. just know what it looks like to yeah. be a heavy alcoholic you know and it's just like that's what it looked like that okay. they just had a lot of drinking problems you know i got you yeah were you home on sunday by chance yes yeah did you hear home. anything yeah actually i did yeah that night so okay so i was like i was reading the article online about yeah. what happened and everything and like it's just like that is like that story is just like it doesn't match like what we heard you know yeah. what i mean like me and my roommate heard it's just like it wasn't that quiet like the whole like it was a joke or whatever yeah. or like whatever you know but it was it was it, it was too loud okay. like i literally like it i don't know about the whole like what the suitcase deal was and everything but it was let's, just I let, let's this. do this let's 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 back you up yeah and yeah. i want to kind of get this to flow through okay um what time did you get up Sunday? In the morning? Yeah. Sunday, I was up at 4.30. I was going to work, yeah. Holy oh, yeah. cow. What time did you get home? I got home at 1 o'clock. So you were at home at 1. Yeah. Did you take a nap or anything, or you just power your way through? No, no. I would, no, because I, I get home, and then I have class the next morning on on Monday. So, yeah. like, I just stay up so I don't have trouble sleeping at night. Exactly. You know what I mean? Gotcha. So I just power through so, the day. Okay. Yeah. So you get home at 1. Mm -hmm. uh, was there already noise going on it was quiet yeah it okay. was i didn't truth truthfully like yeah. i didn't hear anything until like like and before like the whole loud noise and everything yeah. i just heard like the normal yelling at each the verbal like yeah. yelling and like the whole like arguing the, okay. i hate you i hate you blah, blah, okay. blah, whatever. i was gonna be my next question what yeah. kind of stuff were you yeah hearing? it was just like the normal but, like it sounds so like a normal it wasn't couple, like a like, really like, elevated screaming it was just uh no it, it was elevated screaming but it was like the it was like normal like their normal yeah, yeah it was like screaming. yeah pretty much I yeah got you. Okay. yeah so there, that's the normal back and forth. So yes, that was basically yes. going on starting when you got home. Um, I would say probably a little later in the afternoon. A little okay. later in the afternoon there. Probably, probably like 7 okay. o'clock. It's like, because I feel like that's when like the drinks are settling in and they get a little more violent okay. toward each other, okay. you know? And it's like... Were they outside or was this all inside? You remember? It's set, like tr like truthfully, when I'm when I'm home yeah. and stuff, like I I'm um, a music producer, so I'm on my laptop a lot in my room, you. you know. So like, yeah. from what I heard in my room, it sounded like they were directly across from me, or okay. like directly across and up. So like either in the rooms there or yeah. like downstairs in the in living the room, room in that you know area yeah. right there. So did you go out on the back to smoke at all that, that night? No, actually, I quit smoking. I smoke a vape now, oh, so I yeah I stay in my apartment now. Yeah. It's just a little vape now. Good for you. Yeah, thank uh, you. <laughs> oh, that's a big thing. I mean, well, yeah, and after the law changed and everything, I can't buy them anymore, so I kind of got forced into it, you oh, know. Yeah. So it was like, th this is just like I I needed it to like kind of ease the cigarettes off, but yeah. we're working at just trying to go completely off it, you know. Wow. Like, okay, so but you're in your room. Uh, how late did you stay up that night? You think? I was up pretty late. I, I stay up pretty late every night. You know, I just get so lost in my music. I was up okay. probably to like. 1 a.m. that night probably okay. right around there yeah and then and I, like i said we were just talking about it before me and my roommate actually yeah. um that night right around it was probably right, right around 10 30 11 o'clock maybe yeah. is when i heard like it get escalated you know like it's like the voices got louder they were yelling 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 whatever and then like it got quiet for a little while yeah. and then i heard this really loud like slamming noise do you know about what time that was? Right around 11.15. It was about 15 okay. minutes band there, you know, and then... When you say a slamming noise, does it sound like something hit the wall? Like something, something like was bouncing down the stairs between the railing and the wall and the stairs. Like, okay. all the way down. Like, you know, and it like, it was clear because like, he, he my roommate <coughs> even said it too, like he heard it up here and it kind of went away from him and he's the front room here Yeah. and I'm in the back. So it was kind of like, it was in the middle of the house Coming at and you. came right at me and it was literally right next to me. And I've never felt this before, but that night I was explaining to him the next day because he had said he heard the noise and I was like, dude, I felt the wall shake. Like it was literally like such a 
powerful hit against the wall like the wall shook and i felt yeah. it and that was like something that where i was like i kind of looked at the wall and i was just <laughs> like uh that was a little much uh, yeah a little much I but gotcha. like i thought and this whole time i really really thought it was like him you yeah. know what i mean like going off or whatever but i like i said i don't know what happened inside but that's just like what i heard yeah. and it sounded like it was just bouncing you know what yeah. i mean like down the stairs between like the wall and like okay. and that was like a quarter after 11 you said yeah it was like because we heard we heard like yelling and stuff around like 10 30 10 45 ish and yeah. then it got quiet for like 20 30 minutes maybe and then no maybe like 15 between 15 and 30 minutes around yeah. there yeah no worries. and it was like then that loud noise and then I heard like shuffling around mm -hmm. and then just we both heard it at the same time it just got silent and I was just like okay I guess it's over you know I guess it, that was like the last like then they're done like I guess they walked away from each other you, you didn't know? hear anything after that after that I not not loud enough to where I could hear it through the wall you know what I mean I don't know if anything Did you happened hear muffled after. anything or no, just nothing, nothing. I mean, dead quiet not dead quiet after that compared because like you know the walls aren't thin but they're not thick yeah no, no, I got it I mean, so they yeah, could have yeah. been over there talking normally, and you would never know. Uh, yeah, because like if they're having normal conversation yeah. and stuff, no. But like when they're fighting and they're arguing, you can clear. It's yeah. like being on the other side of a bedroom wall, you know, because it's yeah. apartments and they're so close. But so. at eleven fifteen, that's the last thing you heard. And what you heard was a thump. Yeah, on the right stairway. about yeah, it was right about that time, like right around eleven, eleven fifteen. Yeah, eleven fifteen ish. Yeah. And you were up till about one, and you heard nothing else. I no nothing i heard like i said like a little shuffling yeah. around down there and then that was it did you hear anything like could you make out what they're hey have him grab his buddy's stuff his food please i feel bad Thank your you. stuff is on the ground it's and they're good. going inside Thank you very much um when they were yelling earlier could you make out anything or is it just kind of it's kind of just like, wah, like wah, i was wah. saying it's like like you can like hear the whole like I hate you like and then like you clearly um you like you can clearly hear like some like the I hate yeah. you's and the like the clear like yeah cursing at each other and stuff and okay. you know did you hear any threatening anything prior to I, that was no. anybody screaming I'm gonna kill you or no I, I never heard anything like that not that night I've not have you heard that in the past no I've okay. never I've never not that I can recall truthfully like I can't remember ever hearing like I'm gonna kill you or like any type of like threat towards each other like yeah. that but like I've also like it's very visible like very visible with them yeah. sometimes right. it used to be you know like it'd be very loud arguing you know and then the next morning you see her outside and bruises on her face or him out here with like scratch marks everywhere bruises everywhere you know it's like it's just very visible what was going on and everything right. and it was just like like i was saying before i just kind of there was a time where she literally came up to me and she was like no matter like what you hear pretty much like just kind of keep quiet about it you know respectfully like mind your own business and i was just like okay you know what i mean like <laughs> Okay. You know, you I'm remember just, when that was? I would about three and a half, four months ago. Okay. Yeah. Not too long ago, but not like very, very recent. Right. You know? yeah. Right. Okay. Well. He right. said the arguing was nightly. <coughs> he said yeah. the reason the front office hasn't heard anything more is because everybody just kind of gave up calling. Yeah, it was like the. Would the, you complain in the past or no? No, I never did. It was yeah. because like they've been here for so long, and all the other neighbors around here were we've been here for so long and stuff and like I was uh I was talking to some other people that I met through the school that live in the apartment complex and everything and they were saying like you know people just don't really like them all right. that much you know they were like very I guess it was just the way they came across you know with everybody you know it was just like they're uh, the way they presented themselves you know they were right. always drunk like I was saying before like always like always. sun up to sun down type yeah. like all the time and okay. it was like I guess people just didn't really want to interact. interact. Yeah, because yeah. it's like, you know, I'm sure you guys have interacted with people who are very over the limit, like, yeah. drunk and stuff, and it's just, it gets very annoying after a while, you know? So yeah. it's like, conversations can't last more than, like, two minutes tops, and it's just yeah. like, everybody wants to go, you know? But they're always, cons or they're always consistent about, like, being there, and that's why nobody really liked them all that much, you know? Yeah. Okay. Could you do me a favor, raise your right hand? 
Do you swear or affirm everything we've talked about is true and accurate to the best of your knowledge? Yes, sir. Okay, Sarah. So, you're not free to go. Okay. Oh, do you promise everything you told us is the truth? Or no? Everything we've talked about today? Yes. What do you mean? I, I, I he asked to swear. Remember what? how I swore you yesterday on the on the audio recording? I just forgot, so he raised his hand to remind me to tell you. Okay. Do you promise and swear that everything we talked about today has been true and accurate to the best of your knowledge? For which true everything? and accurate to the best of your knowledge? What that it wasn't intentional? Everything, everything you've said you today, us. everything that's come out of your mouth has been true and accurate to the best of your knowledge. To the best of my knowledge. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Why? Because we talk to somebody, we to assure that everything that we've talked about is true and accurate to, to the, the best, best of that of person's knowledge. knowledge. It's not a trick question. To the best of my knowledge. To the best of your knowledge. Everything that you've told us today is true and accurate to the best of your knowledge. Yes, but it was not intentional. Okay. Okay. All right. Do me a favor. Stand up. I need you to turn around, face the wall, put your hands behind your back. Do you have anything in your pockets that I should know about? No. Okay. Why is this happening? Because George is dead. Not intentionally. We understand He's that. He's still dead. Well, we don't Someone really understand needs to call that. Brian, please. Okay. Or can I not make a phone call? <coughs> You'll be able to make a phone call when we get you down to the jail. So You'll why is this happening? So this was a trick. No, it's not no, a trick. Not How's a it trick. a trick? I'm here to ask you to explain a few things to us. Uh -huh. and you were right, you're right. Your response to everything was basically, I didn't do it. Intentionally. I should have that. It doesn't matter. You're still there. Do me a favor. Have a seat. <coughs> Really, guys? Really? So if I didn't show up, why is it happening? Because before y'all said I could leave, when that I was done after yeah. this. After that, we were done. Yes, we were done. Absolutely. So now, so that's what it is. We are done. Right. Not intentional. Okay. So what am I supposed to do now? You will... Someone needs to call Brian. Okay. He's waiting for Mom to come home. This was not my intention. I thought I was waiting for you all to come and figure out what's what and how many. That's what we're trying to do. And I was going to be able to go home and see... Now he's just not going to have me come home. So there's nothing that I can do. I don't know. There's nothing that I can do in order to go home and see and prepare. Not right now, no. You'll be afforded a time in court. You'll be afforded an attorney. You'll be afforded a chance to talk to a judge, and all that stuff will be worked out. But what's the time frame for that, though? I, I have no way of being able to tell you. You should make first appearance probably by tomorrow morning, if not tonight, depending on how things are busy. How quickly you get down there? I don't. I, had a I don't sneak work in there. I this was going to happen, okay. and I need water like really bad, please. How is she? You all check me down here. <coughs> Absolutely did not. I just got those. Okay. They are not allowed in the jail. So I can't even smoke cigarettes as I go. What? And what am I supposed to do with my car? Can you find where it is? When you get down there, you'll have free phones, you'll be able to call. What, as soon as possible? Yeah, once you get down in there, get booked in, you'll be able to uh, use a phone in the in the way. But how area. long will that take? Because I need to talk to Brian. I don't know. It depends how busy, how quickly they get you through. I'd probably say within the hour. 
It's a free phone yes. call yes. In, the, in the lobby. It's a free All phone call. All I'm doing is bringing you there, signing yep. the paper, and you're going to do it. She has no clue. So can I ask you, or whoever it is, um, those holding cells, the holding cells, mm -hmm. am I going to be putting one of those? Because I don't know. Last time I had a panic attack. Okay. Let them know that. Yeah. But I don't know. Well, you, you're familiar with the big bay. As long as you go in and you act civil to them, they'll set you in the big bay. And you'll be left there and for Can a while. Can you request that while I'm there? No, that's not up to us. Mm -hmm. We don't work at the jail. As long as, as, long as, as, long as what he's saying is you, if you don't if act you go up. in and act like this, you'll go in and they'll put you in the big bay. If you go in there screaming and kicking and yelling and Why cursing at do people, that? I don't know. I'm just letting you know that's what happens. That's how they, they weed people out. If you go in acting like this. So I ask for the big bay? No. They'll put you there as long as you're acting like this. I, yeah, because the last time I had a major panic attack in okay. the little things. Hey, I don't know. Change yep. the crust. Go ahead, stand up. I have not found So what am I going to do with my purse? purse? Oh, sorry. Your purse is going to come, but the cigarettes and stuff can't, so. I put, in, I put the lock up to my bag. Oh, no, it's all good. Mine are now opposite, so. What made you all decide to do this? Made us decide to do this? Uh-huh. George is dead. You guys, I knew this was going to happen. You did? Okay. So I came well, down we here did. willingly. Yes, absolutely. We were trying to figure out what's going on. We're still trying to figure out what's going on. Unintentionally. Well, or not, George is dead. <laughs> You act like when you say unintentionally, that absolves you from everything. I need to get, I have my, I don't know if it's you able to be or not. I apologize. Mm. I have things in my car that I need to. Okay. What kind of stuff do you have in your car that you're worried about? Well, I have my medication. Okay, they have a pharmacy there, so if there's something that you have to have right away, you'll be seeing a nurse. It's panic attack stuff. Well, again, when you get checked in, you're going to be seeing a nurse. Okay. And that they have a pharmacy there, so they'll be able to take care of any kind of that stuff. That protocol is out of my realm. I don't work down there, so I don't know, but I do know they do have a pharmacy. And that you will be afforded to see somebody. Okay? All done? Yes, ma'am. I'd like to say not bad. Yep. Sarah Boone and Jorge Torres. A couple of hopeless romantics who just couldn't stop beating the shit out of each other. I'm not sure which one was the most aggressive of the two, but they really should have parted ways a long time ago. Anyone could plainly see that sooner or later, Someone was going to get hurt. I think the battered wife defense is quite a stretch after pushing a suitcase down a flight of stairs with a human inside. Then she turned him over to keep him from successfully escaping. I think she was strong enough to push him down the stairs, but wasn't strong enough to lift and place him into the trunk of a car for dumping. But there is one question that really bothers me about this case. Why the hell did Jorge willingly get into the suitcase? There's just no way she forced him in. No one would put themselves in such a vulnerable position, especially around someone like Sarah. In fact, I'm pretty sure Brian is still alive because he refused to get in the suitcase. It's also why he is divorced. Is there anyone on earth who you trust so much you'd willingly get into a suitcase for them and allow them to zip you up? Even if Shirley Manson herself politely asked me to get in the suitcase, I'd say, hell no. And I'd be willing to do a lot of things for Shirley Manson. I'd consume an entire mile of her poop just to get to her cornhole. But I'm not getting in a suitcase for nobody. Oh, come on, man. Don't try to act like you're offended by that. You knew about my degenerate nature when you voted for me. And let's not pretend that you didn't vote for me. Because we both know you did. Everyone did. I received more votes than any other American presidential candidate in history. Kennedy and Obama 
got nothing on me. I'm the most beloved politician of all time. So quit your bitching. Anyways, Sarah's case has been postponed once again because her lawyer can't find an expert who wants to help with her battered wife defense. So we will have to put this on hold until the end of July. In the meantime, come check out my new gaming channel. The link is in the description. True and international over to pressure.